Hello. Oh, oh, are we Hello. live now? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hi, everybody. This is the whole stream is just us going. Hello. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> everybody would love that. I think so. <laughs> I'd love that. So, yeah. like, who cares? Exactly. It's the new meta, the hello stream. The hello stream. Everyone's sick of NPC stream. streams. They only want, like, friendly merchant streams. Where you just say hello, and then they buy some herbs from you. Did I put the... We're friends at the table. You don't have enough gold. Dot twitch.tv. <laughs> That's one of the other ones. Oh. Sorry to... Oh. <laughs> Sorry to well, everybody fine. at home who just heard two seconds of a Twitch ad playing on my speakers while I'm trying to see the chat here. Come on. I know. It's the amateur hour. These, I was expecting when you said apologies <laughs> for people hearing, and then I thought the next thing was going to be like a K-pop song or like um, a, a, football, a football man being like, we got to get him or something, you know? A football man saying, we got to get him? We got to get him. That's we're not what they sound again. like. Football guys don't sound like that. Yes, they do. They do. <laughs> Like <laughs> Why don't you accidentally play a football guy for us? That's, we'll I don't know. That sounds like a football guy to me. Mm. This is a football guy. You can tell that I'm a football guy because I'm carrying around this football under my arm. No, that sounds cool like. <laughs> that sounds Do you play like... for the yeah. Seattle Rats? Yeah. Yeah, I play for the Seattle Rats. Wow. <laughs> Scurry to victory. Yeah. Sorry about this last Wait, season. Wait, no, now you're the Halo announcer. <laughs> You became the Halo announcer, or not? Maybe not Halo, but you became, became a shooter announcer. Mm. Can I get a like a what do they say? Kilimanjaro. Yeah, no, like a triple kill or like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> double kill. That's the Halo guy. Killtacular. Kill. Yo. <laughs> Kilimanjaro. I can't believe I know the Halo guy. <laughs> Why did you say that was you? That, wow. uh, it's just something I could do. <laughs> That's nice. I try not to make a big deal out of it. Wow. Well, okay. Well, with that settled, welcome everybody. That'll final. I know. Um. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, today we're going to be playing a uh, a tabletop game, which is unusual for us. I know. Um. <laughs> we. So okay. Just to be transparent. I was like, for some reason, I really want to play a Bluff City game. And for some reason, I really want to play a Bluff City game with a bunch of people who work at a grocery store. Yeah, <laughs> I remember this. I don't know why this 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 struck me, um, but I, I wanted to play this. We were thinking of doing Fiasco for it, um, but I found um, Unincorporated by Ethan Harvey, ethanharvey.itch.io, um, which, like, gives me fiasco vibes, but has, like, some, I think, sort of important, like, you know, <laughs> rules changes um, that I think will make this sort of, like, a smaller, more honest story to just being, like, normal folks. Um, and also just has, like, some cool... I like the answer system in this game. I think I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Actually, let me change scenes so everybody can see our itch here that Keith isn't in for some reason. Um, oh, I clicked on it. I just hit the launch. There we go. Too busy being the Halo Sometimes guy. Sometimes when you first join, there's an extra step. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Join sure. the game. Um, oh, my God. Is this not scrolling? Oh, there's oh. ads because you're not Austin. Oh, I need you to scroll, OBS. Why aren't you scrolling? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, no, you don't I know scroll what you're trying to OBS. show off too, and it's good. <sighs> you scroll on the thing that it's capturing. Oh, do I have? I think I have two windows that are this, that are both this. So I'm OBS. Okay, yes. Spoilers, okay, spoilers for later in character creation. We have a jock nerd prep goth table that we're going to be dealing with later on. I um, read this and was like, hey, I need to be in this game. <laughs> hey. 
Do I need to bring that football guy back out? You <laughs> might. Point, maybe. You never know. Maybe. I, it's, it's, you I, might have it's, to. It's new, I don't think I've played a jock in a game. I mean, I will say a Gig great. Is almost a jock. That? What I know about this game is that a great uh, situation to tee up would be high school athlete and then like coach, high school coach. Ooh, yeah. Just, you know, keep it in a back pocket. You never know. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to think about this. Um, so yeah, we're going to jump into that. Before we get play, jump into the game in earnest, I'm going to say one thing now, which is that later in the stream... Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 I know it's coming, everybody. Buckle up. Later in the stream, there's going to be a merch giveaway. Um, we're testing out a system with fourth wall. Fourth wall is keeps a little quiet. I'll fix that. Um, uh, uh, fourth wall is doing this giveaway um, and uh, is giving away some merch. <laughs> so we will be participating in that. That should happen at 730. So we're going to be like in the to be middle. be clear, it's our merch. It's yes, not it's wall not merch. just yeah. it's our merch. <laughs> Through fourth wall. Yes. Yes. Um, Importantly. I I don't know what's going to be given away because there's a, a fourth wall employee who's going to come into our chat and do it later. And I didn't turn oh. anything off. I didn't turn anything on. I was wondering why it had to be like scheduled like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's because it's it's because they're like billing it. The way that this usually works is like subs right. usually work where like somebody would buy a community copy T-shirt and then we, we would have like a giveaway oh, in the I chat, oh, um, right. which just seems like a little weird. We don't know how to encourage or discourage that yet. And it just but to test yeah. the system, fourth wall is 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 bringing the 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 <laughs> the purse, so to speak um so i do have i did i don't know what's i haven't set up streams labs i know that i do this professionally but i haven't so instead i just have this <laughs> it's very well, handy everybody turned off stream labs <laughs> when obs got publicly mad at stream labs for being kind of yeah shady. oh i didn't yeah. know that and then stream labs changed their name to like stream labs there's right. extreme Actually, elements. You should take it down. Stuff. People are doing it. Oh, okay. Well, okay. It. Well, just no, no, no. okay. Everybody can test it out. Everybody can see how no, it feels. But the, everyone can <laughs> test it out typing right, in the help. word. Come on. This is just this is just King of the Castle all over again. It's, yeah. <laughs> this is a crowd of people who knows how to type. Okay. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> All of that stuff you just did, do it later. Um, yeah. But that's wow. basically this is going to be your symbol Good when this comes on. Though. I the uh, giveaway is happening. It's not a symbol. They're when gonna it's do a it phrase. again. <laughs> it's a string of text. Hey, a phrase is just a symbol. It's just. It's just wow. a symbol that everyone gets. Wow. Like it's. Uh, but get a little <laughs> deeper vendetta over here. A phrase is just a symbol. A phrase is just a symbol. Um. So that's gonna be the situation. There's gonna be a fourth wall bot in at a pro in approximately thirty minutes. Everybody's up to speed. We're all okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the giveaway. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I get it. Okay. Chat, you know what's going on. Be ready. Yeah. Um, and then I I don't know. We'll talk about it afterwards, how this goes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're all testing it together. Um, but Thank otherwise. You testing. Am I still am I still quiet? I'm oh, I I think that I did uh, Yes, no, I'm still quiet. Bump you a little bit. You're a hundred and four. 50 well, now 60 percent in discord in discord yeah i can i oh oh i actually sorry this is my fault i know why i'm quiet i know why i'm quiet uh -huh. it's because kyle was here doing run button yesterday and when we're in the room with the two mics i reduce our volume by 50 percent oh so i was uh, at like well, 20 dbs 50 percent yeah i go from 30 down to 20 okay well now i'm taking you well, I guess that would be reducing it by 33%. But then when I put it back to 50, <laughs> or when I put it back to 100 or 30, uh -huh. that's going up by 50. Um, yeah, totally. Percentages are crazy. I believe I'm going to remember this for I'm later. It'll be important. Time, right? <laughs> yeah, that will be on the test, by the way. You will have to. <laughs> you will have to. We were going to do a one-question math quiz. You're going to point enter and then talk about how many percentages Keith's volume was down. Wow. I hate or up. <laughs> I hate math so much. My ears are steam is coming out of my ears like I'm gone freaks. Huh? Like oh, media, right. Listen okay, to Media yeah. Club Plus. Oh, Media Club Plus. By the way, you can watch. Uh, go, you, or you gotta also watch Hunter Hunter to see Gone Freaks. Yeah. Uh, mm. Get steam ears from doing math. Both of you, when you say that, it sounds like you're saying going freaks. Like yeah, I know. That's cool. why yeah. I like saying his name so okay. much. Yeah. Huh. His last name going is freaks. freaks. His last There's name is no, freaks. There, 
There's no what? avoiding that his last name is Freaks. Okay, okay. F R E E C S S. Yeah. If you say so. Okay. I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't come up with it. We can move on, but I do say so. Yeah. Um, how do we feel about opening this book and starting to play it? Great. Yeah. Okay. Strong. <laughs> Powerful. I feel goth and or prep about it. Whoa. Okay. If you say so. I feel like skipping this <laughs> and going to the gym. Oh, wait. Did it not work? Did my button not work? No, it didn't, but it's fine. It makes it even better. <laughs> wow. Which Hunter my... Hunter character is Jock or Nerd? Um, <laughs> a lot of them are Jock. A lot of them are Jock. Mm. No, no, the full name, Jock or Nerd. Oh, Jock or oh, Nerd. Jock or nerd. Oh, um, yeah. He hasn't shown up yet where we're watching. He's in the Chimera Ant arc. Uh... Uh... Okay, I'm, you can see I how... How <laughs> 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 That's what I got for you. <laughs> okay, I've I've added a completely busted source of this game so we can all read along together. Hell yeah. Um chat, you're here too, reading the book, and uh let's jump into it. Hi. Hello. Credits, etc. Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, set up. An op. An optimistic person might call this place a town. It has a post office, a gas station, a few stores, and not many people, which makes the ones who are here important. You see the same few people everywhere. Your coworker is your cousin's ex and the drummer in your best friend's band. Too bad they still hate you for he stealing their uh, homecoming date 20 years ago. The people here may not be your friends, but they know you. They know all about, all about the stupid things you di you've done and won't let you forget it. Your reputation follows you no matter how outdated it is. Nobody gets a clean slate here. Unincorporated is a game about being stuck together in a small community with a limited pool of other people. Uh, the other characters are ordinary people caught up in petty dramas, grudges, hopeless love affairs, uh, while trying to shake off the weight of their reputations and define who they are for themselves. Here we are. Here we are. Yeah. Also, I we should say, uh, this is unincorporated by Ethan Harvey. Yeah. I think we, uh, Ali did at the top oh, of the screen. Oh, did we? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's also in the title. Um. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to be 100% clear. Uh-huh. Um, <clears throat> yeah, shout out to Ethan for writing this game. Um... Let's let's jump. To, we can just run into character creation. I guess up top, do we want to talk about things that we don't want to include just straight up? I feel like for Lines and Veils, at this point of playing tabletop games together, we kind of have an idea um, of True. stuff that we don't want to get into. This seems like we're going pretty lighthearted. I don't think we're going to be doing anything too grim here. <laughs> we don't need to be like... No, no disemboweling. I was like, yeah, no, for sure. The grocery store is not going to have it. Um, but, you know, you could have, like, a butcher who's cutting one. stuff, and it's icky. That's mm. true. Sorry, Keith. Um, I didn't realize you were going to be a big disemboweler today. My bad. Whoa. Harry the well, disemboweler is working cash again, bit. everybody. That's the mascot of uh, the football team, the disemboweler. <laughs> sure. Yeah, okay. Um, Wait, that I fuck with, actually. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the mascot is uh is uh is uh Ben of Ben's Knife fame. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys aren't gonna love that when Media Club Plus. Just <laughs> trust me. Oh, y'all don't know Benny Dellen? Oh, no, no, they don't know shit about Benny. Uh oh, Are there I any? Mean, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say like a thing that we should probably say, um. So this isn't in the intention of the book, but sometimes when we read a new, when we get exposed to a new game, my brain immediately does the thing of like, what would the worst person you've ever played a tabletop game do with this game? Yeah. Um, and I think we should, <laughs> that's, you know, that's wild. <laughs> you know, I for a while I was on a kick of just like. Back before b before Reddit reading posts became like super saturated and everyone very boring, um, mm -hmm. I would watch like videos of someone playing Dungeons and Dragons online and then reading Reddit posts from like tabletop horror stories Reddits, um, 
And so it like put in my brain this kind of person I've never actually met who <laughs> does bad things when they play these games. Mm-hmm. So uh, the thing I want to say here that again, I don't think the book sets this up, but I can imagine a person reading this and being like, oh, here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do like people of Walmart, the game or something like that. Something very like derisive and yucky. And I, I think it's worth saying like, we should, I don't, you know, I don't think this is an issue we'll have. Yeah. But I think it's worth like looking at it directly so that we don't like accidentally slip into um, like trashy stereotyping. I think the game does use the word trashy somewhere. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, you know, there's a lot of like really shitty, often classist uh, baggage wrapped up in stuff like that. And mm-hmm. I just wanted to point out that that's a trap we could fall into accidentally and that way hopefully we definitely won't for sure yeah yeah Yeah, i was thinking about that leading up to this i've never done i've done a ton of retail and i've done like con work and stuff like that but i've never done like Mm -hmm. food service in that way and i know that this Mm -hmm. is like a completely different monster also we don't have to go with a grocery store we can find like another um (laughs) <laughs> profession if it, yeah, yeah. Yeah. if it if it um jumps out to us through character creation um but that's sort of like and especially like with what i read with the game like this is a small town there's just a a gas mm-hmm. station we know that that's also sort of not true about what we've set up in bluff city but like the the intimacy and the like tone of the game of like the people who are around you or people you can't escape from, I think like mm-hmm. works with the setting and will work with the, the tone of the story that we want to do today on its own without it being like, yeah, you know, why does this person, you know, ch- work at a checkout lane in a grocery store? Because, you know, a lot of people do for a lot of reasons. Yeah, the answer is uh-huh. just I, they need to pay rent. Uh-huh. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. It's a pretty it's, easy it's, question to answer. It's one of yeah. five buildings in the center of town. Uh-huh. Yeah. In this in this setup of this game, you know, there's not a ton of stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Whoops, but- that's not. Sorry, <laughs> I realized we didn't update Nightbot for this. Mm. We are not playing the Veil Who's by Fraser Simon. Big man. <laughs> <laughs> that's football man. Uh Keith's yeah, that's the new me. Yeah. talking about me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get ready to catch this. I'm gonna throw it so far I can throw five hundred yards. Wow. Wow. Okay. That scared me a little bit. Um anyway. Um I, okay, those are all great lines. I think for Vale's just like general violence, death probably. I don't know that anyone's dying. Well, wait, like, <laughs> I mean, you could do death in a. Has anyone else here watched Superstore? Uh, I, I know. know of Superstore. Okay, well, you're not really missing. People will say it's very good, and it's fine. But there's, you know, <laughs> that's there's the some. I got. They do death in a way that's interesting. Um, oh. You know, you can you can do death in a way that's not like awful. No violent oh, sure. death, I think, is a is a better way to put it. Yeah. Yeah. Someone could get crushed by a forklift in a funny way. That's true. <laughs> people can get hit by if people so, get hit by buses in funny ways in TV all the time. No being no death that's like disgusting and lascivious. Sure. Yeah, that's a fine. That's a fine veil. Like rich coming from the disemboweler, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cartoon mascot. He's fun. He never kills anyone at the games anymore. Wow. Um, anymore? <laughs> no, I was drinking. Anymore? Yeah, anymore. Look, don't let's not get into it. Mm-hmm. Woke can't do it anymore. <laughs> wow. Look, you can't even even game, have someone get killed anymore. It's fucking <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> What are we playing football in short pants? Does anybody have any wishes for what they want to see? Um, <laughs> uh, I think I'm wishing for the disemboweler to wow, be a mascot. Okay, sure. <laughs> I simply wish for hijinks. Okay. Yeah. All right. You know, I, like I think we can manage that. Okay. Aim low and you'll never be disappointed. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I'm just saying we naturally will have hijinks no matter what. So I think so. Right. You know. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. 
Um, yeah, I think we're kind of all on the same page, so we can jump into creating characters. Each of us create a character. Shocking. Uh, <laughs> um, Keith, do you want to read through the answers section of the book? Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Thank um, you. Boom, boom, boom. Sorry, I, was, I scrolled down a couple. The answers. So what page is that? Or do you mean the questions on page six? Oh, the question. question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I was, I was like, oh, I must word. be on our page. Okay. <laughs> By answering a few questions, you'll create setting details and connect them to your character's background. Take turns picking questions from each list. Answer them for your own character by making up a person, place, or thing, or picking one from the examples list. Don't use another PC as the answer for a question. Even though you're choosing the question and answering it yourself, it helps to answer it out loud. The other players might use your answer in the last round of questions. Be specific, not just car, but Maggie's red Jeep. Write the answers on the reference sheet so everyone can see them. Go around one more time. On this round, each player chooses one question from any of the lists. Don't create a new setting detail for this question. Answer it with one of the people, places, or things that were created in the first three rounds. It's okay to answer a question someone else has already answered if both PCs could have been involved or if the event could have happened more than once. When you're done answering questions, each player should have created one person, one place, and one thing. And some of them should be connected to more than one PC. Okay. Yeah. So if I'm understanding that right, there's like these subheaders of people, places, and things. We're mm -hmm. answering one of each for our characters, and then we're going around yeah. and just picking another. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we each get three like personal from each category. And then for our fourth one, one of we choose one from any of the categories, and then one of the answers has to be from somebody else's answer. Okay, cool. I also, if you see on the roll 20 here, have <laughs> very, <laughs> very straightforward um, little character sections. Um, we all cl uh, scramble to claim one. Now? Yes, you know, go ahead. Okay. Don't fight over them. Um, this, this is my one. I put my <laughs> I didn't even make it look good. I just wow. put it on there. <laughs> Wow. Um, Rule 20 is bad now. I don't know if you guys knew that Rule 20 was bad nope. now. I know that we mm. just had a whole... We, <laughs> spoilers for anybody who's uh, listened to the um, Friends of the Table feed is that we um, recorded Palisade on Sunday. And we had like an especially bad Rule 20 time <laughs> doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, With like stuff, like basic stuff that we've been mm -hmm. doing forever and ever, like moving things around. Right. So like when I was trying to make like one of these columns and then I was like, oh, I'll just copy and delete them. So they'll have the same space and the same words in the same place. I wasn't able to do that. Um, so that's why they're a little mismatched. Yeah. Um, but Remember I when I tried all to unique. make a circle and Austin completely <laughs> fell apart? Yeah, you know what? Justified. He couldn't I move the circles. That. I know. It was weird and broken. I do remember that. Okay. I'm going to take this left one. Most one. Okay. Uh, Who's the heart? Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was drinking. No, it's all good. <coughs> and just to confirm... We're going to each pick one from each list. Mm -hmm. And then the last round is any list, mm -hmm. but it's, but it's the one that incorporates mm -hmm. um, someone mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we can probably, we can do this together in a round if we all want to tackle people together and the places and things. Sure. Um, I thrive on demonstrations. So. Ooh, do we, do we well. want to do our first go round? Sure. I just want to type my own name on my own uh, box. I, uh, I didn't. I chose to not participate in uh, yeah. the, in the, the blood rush. To, 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 uh, so I did Weird get the last spot. Oh, well, that's fine. Well, well, that's so little. Okay. That's where I am. The, you know, character name and gender is going to go up on the top, but I feel like we have to figure out more vibes here. Um, okay. So the, um, who's, who's messaging me on Discord? Uh <laughs> The people uh, questions we have are who's marrying someone who's marrying the person you're secretly in love with? Who do you owe a debt to? Who do you owe a debt you can't pay? Who still holds a grudge from that uh, fight you had years ago? Whose name did you once paint on a bridge? 
<laughs> who knows something no, that you wait, could... that's real as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> who knows something that could get you fired? Who did you meet secretly? Who do you meet secretly? Who would you never forgive? Who would never forgive you if they knew what you did? Who annoys you even though everybody likes them? Who have you secretly helped when they needed it? And who do you admire even though they can't stand you? Which are some fucking banger questions. So <laughs> um, when uh, when one of these is answered, are they crossed off the list? Is the or no? I think so. Okay. I don't know. I just wanted to, that could be how we do it. Uh, it. I think that it said except for the last one. To oh no, it doesn't say. It never says don't answer uh, a question someone else has answered. It actually does say. You can use something else as long as it's plausible that someone else would be answering the same question. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. Perfect. Um, oh man. Do we want to do questions first, and then like, here's their name, here's their that's what job? I was thinking, or the was other way around? The the questions sort of inform the sure okay. thing, yeah. but you know. Yeah, I was thinking that we would build the 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 character backgrounds first, and then we would we would feel more comfortable being like, "This is my guy, Joe, or whatever." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joe Disemboweler. Uh -huh. uh -huh. um, Sophie, did you want the bridge one? I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've done that before, you know. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I think like it has to be a train bridge specifically. Something about. I train, feel like that fits the setting too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um. I think I'm gonna go. Who do you admire, even though they can't stand you? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Joe Devive in the chat. <laughs> Let's that was an all-time name. Oh. <laughs> okay. Shout out to his unseen sister, Joy, who I was uh, <laughs> busy to get to. <laughs> <laughs> who do I admire even though they can't stand me? I've got a giant fucking name generator for this oh I'm let's be go able to pull these off oh, yeah. I, my head. I pulled up um an old favorite an old favorite of uh, forever ago fake person generator.com which is the one that will fake give you like a whole oh, ass yeah. person and like their phone number their email oh. address uh their their star sign their job um, I pulled up a guy who I'm determined to to work into my character here, and I just want to wow. say his employment as the generator gay, which is not going to be true, obviously, um, is that he works part time at the library, or no, sorry, he's a part time librarian at the Stop and Shop, and he makes nine thousand dollars a month. <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's a part time librarian at the Stop and Shop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Stop and Shop library. Money laundering. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, I guess I used to it's go to just a very well funded initiative. Yeah, I used to go to Albertsons, which had which had a video rental like in it. Um, so I imagine you have a librarian. <laughs> well, if you switch out the videos for books, then yes. So and there was and a, remove there was the a rental video librarian there. <laughs> You know, this is actual play. This is the power of imagination. And what I'm imagining is the Albertsons video rental, but with books. And therefore, there's a library. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So. Who's uh, next? For, oh, <clears throat> Allie, you, you haven't answered yet. I haven't answered or, yet. Or do we collect our answers or questions before we answer? Oh, maybe we can do that. Do you want to do that? And then we can sort of do a thank to yeah, ourselves. That might, that little might, situation. That might, uh, accelerate things a little bit. Okay. Um, does anybody want to read the places questions? Yeah, I got you. Ooh, you. Where have you stopped going, though you used to go all the time? Where did you meet both your worst enemy and your best friend? Where did they find the body? Where do you go to get away from your family? Where are you afraid to go, even though you know it's irrational? 
Where do you always run into someone you know? Where did you hide something valuable? Where was your worst job ever? Where did a wild rumor you still kind of believe supposedly take place? Where did you make a complete fool of yourself? These are good questions. These are, These are good, good questions. questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, <clears throat> any claims? Any immediate vibes? Any magnetic feelings? I love these. I gotta, I've got to absorb them, but I don't mind. Uh, <laughs> I have no immediate claims. I'm not okay. taking. A, I don't have a bridge answer like Sylvie does. Okay, sure. I'm um, a, I got two good names in the chat. If any that I'm declaring like free for, or in my name generator, if either anybody wants either of these, mm -hmm. uh, I put them in the Discord. I'm not going to say them out loud. People, oh, if they get used, they get used. Wow, thank you. Yeah, fine. Right. You know, I might change my mind. <laughs> these, are the, the, yeah. these are the fucking oh, yeah, names. All right. <laughs> good names, right? <laughs> I was like, hold on, I need to screenshot these before I regenerate. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like, yeah, I love that. <laughs> All right, I've, I'm starting my, I've got my places, or sorry, I've got my people question. Okay. I'm taking who still holds a grudge against, from that time, from that fight you still had years ago. Ooh. Who still holds a grudge from that fight you had years ago. Wow. I think I'm going to take for places where are you afraid to go, even though you know it's irrational. Oh, that's a good one. I was really torn between this or where did a wild rumor that you still kind of believe take place? <laughs> that's also a really good one. <laughs> I love that as soon as you um, put text in the box, it just becomes blurry. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not blurry when you're typing it and then you commit it to the box and then it goes okay resolution, that's how you know it's real because it's resolution way down yeah it's bizarre uh and rule 20 sends us all these emails about updates that they've made yeah i'm not reading all that i'm happy for you we're sorry <laughs> okay i have i have a couple of questions that i've answered here okay um who do you meet secretly? My guitar instructor, Denise Villarreal. Whoa. Uh, where have you stopped going, though you used to go all the time? Meatballs. Meatballs? Meatballs. <laughs> is, that a, is that a chain? Is that a store? Like a bar. Oh. Or like, I, you know, it's. I feel like it's maybe like an Italian restaurant that became a bar or something like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Because no one actually wanted to sit down. They always wanted to sit at the bar. So like, all right, fuck. Yeah, let's put our money into that. Uh, <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, does anybody have any answers they want to give? Or do we want to move on to reading uh, things? I have my answer for the first one. I'm still figuring out the second I, one. So here's another thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, why is that? Ugh. Roll20 has changed how you, like, alter a text box. Uh -huh. I, like, can no longer figure out how to do a line break. It's just not working. <laughs> like, I can't make it n multiple it's, lines. It's so cool. It was working for me. Wait, Mine is, just, it... is forever extending a line out. I can't change the dimensions of this box. It, like, won't work. Oh, can, wait, can you just hit return? No, no. Oh. Yeah, enter Would just like, lets you hmm. do the line break. No, not not what about for me, shift not today. Enter? <laughs> I tried that. I tried that. I just deleted the whole box. I'm gonna do a new box. Cool. <laughs> I love not for me, not today. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, uh, Janine, uh, it's, it's Keith's, okay, it's Keith's struggles. Do you want to read us the things questions? Yeah, <laughs> I already know which one I'm going to claim and everything. Ooh, wow. Things. What did your weirdest relative give you for your 18th birthday? What does your friend have that you believe should be yours? What gift does your ex refuse to take back? What do you own but never use because you're afraid to mess it up? What are you sure nobody will miss if you take it? What has your neighbor been trying to sell for months with no offers? What did you pawn when you needed money? What would solve a big problem if you had it? 
What do you have that is very recognizable as yours? What important thing did you lose the other day? You know that show with the Star Trek guy who says all the questions and there's like the super cuts of it, or it's like, do you believe in the power of a yeah. curse? <laughs> yeah. This is what Non-belief I'm picturing. Non-belief fact or no. fiction? Thank yeah. you, yeah. <laughs> That's a good suit. You should watch that. It's very, it's so I bet fun. I'd like it. It's, Austin and I re- recently watched it from like, I don't remember if we went back and back and watched season one where it's like the other guy, Dennis Farina, but we watched all of the Frakes episodes and it was a fantastic time. It's so good. There's one episode where the, there's a bunch of students who find a piece of chalk that when they write on the board with it, it moans. No, that was real. That was fact. That was fact. That happened. Yeah, that, no, that one was fact, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> anyway y'all can look that up uh-huh. uh yeah uh-huh um i'm gonna take what are you sure nobody will miss if you take uh-huh. that one's for me um i'm snagging uh-huh. what gift does your ex refuse to take back we are we're definitely in a grocery store right i can start Mixing that into, I feel like, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, what? Here's a question about our grocery store: Is yeah. it just groceries, or is this like a Target situation where there's different sections and stuff? Um, see, I don't know. I I haven't seen like a superstore of that nature in just small towns, right? That's fair, right? But well, that's I I I would say I've only seen. There's, or I've that, I think that's predominantly where they are. Is it's it's one of the two, right? Where it's like either they're not there or they're the only game in town. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah. So there's there's definitely a thing that happens. Um, there's a Canadian chain called uh, Zayers. Ooh. Um, mm-hmm. uh, no. Um, <laughs> but they have... Their they tagline have, is, won't you Zay, you love us? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Even the just like really just like normal ones that used to just be food added like a clothing department. And it's all like Joe Fresh clothing. Um, Excuse me? That's the brand. <laughs> but it's all Canadian just like basic brand? t-shirts and stuff. Uh, and then it's just like, okay, so you get your bag of frozen French fries and then your eggs. And then you go get a Joe Fresh t-shirt and then you can go to the cashier. Um so there could potentially be, even though it could, like, it could still be a grocery store that has some shit, like a florist department and, like, you know, um, t-shirts. Okay. Yeah, that that that's what my hometown has a lot of. This is gonna. Let's yeah. just. I have we'll a gen- think- I have a general notes section down here. Okay. Let's just write down departments that we want to be seen. That's, you know what? Yeah, that's a great. way better idea. Uh, florist, produce, butcher, but, butcher, bakery, frozen food. Um, you know, other types of stuff. <laughs> other grocery types. Cereal, etc. Like a soup aisle, like a soup aisle, you know, <laughs> etc. Um, everybody else make their claims. Oh, I uh, I forgot to paste that. Oh, is this happening by the way? Oh, is it? Hey, what was that about a vampire, Keith? Uh, I, I, <laughs> so I, for, I hadn't added my question in, uh, and my, the way that my statement was written doesn't necessarily answer the question. So I have to put the question in and then rephrase what I've written in order to be more okay. answering the question. Okay. There's some good, there's some good things in chat here. Delhi, obviously. I think deli, I mean, butcher is a different thing from a deli, but deli is important. Fresh, um, fresh do you know what an interesting thing that's been happening to me for a year since I got this new graphics card? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, Windows Explorer has been frequently crashing for me. Oh. And so I have to go into my processes and scroll down to the end where, like, Windows Explorer lives 
and restart Windows Explorer. Oh my god! And, and I thought oh. that maybe upgrading to Windows 11 would reinstall Windows and thus fix the <laughs> issue for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but actually, it it just sort of slightly changed which issues are happening. One of my new issues that happens when when <laughs> Windows Explorer crashes is that it like ruins my ability to copy and paste. <laughs> Like, I can't like, copy what? and paste, especially from a web browser. I don't know. It's very weird. Hmm. So I'm now, like, uh, I don't know. It's just very annoying. Anyway, if anyone's ever heard of this and heard of a, of the new 40 series graphics cards <laughs> making Windows Explorer crash, <laughs> and if there's a fix for that, let me know, because I don't like it. <laughs> you heard it here first. Keith does not like it. I don't like it. Um... <clears throat> Okay. All right. Where's my guy Adam? He's late. Um, anyway, uh, so we're answering these questions. I, I do encourage anybody to add the own departments that they want to see in our general notes. Um, I've <laughs> oh, these are good already, though. I've, I've listed as many as I could think of, and I'm going to go back to answering my questions. We want a pharmacy in this place. I know some. Ooh. Like that, again, that's getting close to like um, superstore territory. Yeah, but a pharmacy isn't bad. All right, I'll write that down. We could like also. Most, maybe this is just like, again, a thing of like where I live, but I, every grocery store I think I've been to in the past five years has a pharmacy. Yes. Yeah, Except same. for one. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I mostly see places with pharmacies and banks. There's a lot of uh, like citizens' oh, banks yeah. and grocery stores around here. Yeah, that I don't know. That started becoming a thing. Um, I was gonna say another thing that we wanted, to, if we wanted to like really broaden this out, is like set the game in like a strip mall instead. So we oh, would be at like the cool. grocery store and then like pizza place next door, meatballs, etc. Yeah, that would help us be able to keep the grocery store like more grocery store uh -huh. if we put it in a setting where there's other things to interact with mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so that we don't lose I feel like the that's pretty common for a lot of grocery stores anyway is i agree be attached yeah, yeah, yeah. to like, like you know there's like a things. chinese food place and a, a liquor store and a place and 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 oh it's time a, yeah. it's oh it is the, time the, 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 it's the, time I'm putting my now time. you can all type. <laughs> nah, yeah, no. get it out of you. Oh, there you go. Two I'm not looking, but I assume everyone's doing great. Is the, job. Is the out of you guys. Mm -hmm. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, we've never done it. I've never done a give you giveaway here or for run buttons. Never been something that we've done. Yeah. Well, well, thank you, Fourth Wall, for. I wanted to do it for a while. Yeah. It's. I think it's such a good idea. <laughs> People deserve things. Yeah. Oh, don't cry. Um, okay. Huh? Well, every, somebody said Jean, if they don't Jean win, they're going to cry. No one else can see. <laughs> <laughs> People deserve things. <laughs> All right. Well, everyone's distracted and having fun in chat, we're going to dial in and answer these questions, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think of a good name for a terrible pizza place. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of a good name for a pig. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. What's another shitty job? Where have I worked that I hated? Yeah. <laughs> that's my that's my method. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't need a name generator. I have a life full of people that have that I've met. I just, I just named directly after the one that's most like the thing that I've done. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. Not for me. <laughs> no? No. You get in a fight with a kid named Brandon, so you say, oh, Brendan's the person that I got well, in a fight okay. with. To be fair, Brandon is like a universally like little jerk kid name. So. Yeah. But that actually happened to me. That's why he's in. That's why he's in this. I apologize to all Brandons. <laughs> yeah, I, I know some good Brandon. The, not all, it's the not nice, all Brandon. The good thing about a Brandon and a Brandon is that the ones that aren't little shits are good sports, and so they get it, <laughs> and they'll be fine. Whoa. 
Great. Okay. Well, that settles. <laughs> Uh, my worst job ever was Big Ned's Drive-In Picture Show. That's what I'm putting down. Whoa. We have a drive-in theater that sucks. I thought oh, that you gosh. meant that in real life. <laughs> no. I was like, how do I do this where I'm not just spinning things that I've done? Where, I, or where It's not just the thing I've done. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, I added cars. <laughs> I think it's I think it's good to just spin things you've done. Mm-hmm. I think that's great. Yeah. That's what most that's real. There's no way to assure that something comes across as real than to have than to have actually done it. Damn, we got our winners. Oh damn. Shout out to the winners. I'm gonna take Finally, down. a shout out to the winners. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shout out to the winners. <laughs> They deserve things too. <laughs> Come on. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for being here, everybody, and thank you to Adam. Shout outs. Yeah. Talk to yeah. you via email soon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am opening my own name generator, and I'm going to answer these questions for real. Um, I have good ideas. <clears throat> Uh, oh, I can generate some like, twin names. Go on, Janine. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't put the name that I that the generator gave me down for a really long time because I was like, I don't know if I can live with this. Um, and I sat with it. I'm like, you know, I yeah. Let's go. Okay. okay. Eddie Leggy. <laughs> Eddie oh, Leggy. There's a new one. <laughs> Any leg. Thank you. Pretty sure it's <laughs> any leg. <laughs> uh-huh. Pretty sure yeah. that everyone's going to that is any le- leg. Yep. That's, that's, why I needed, that's why I needed to sit with it for a bit and then I committed. That's exactly the thing. Uh, Eddie Leg, also known as Eddie Leggy, also known as Eggy Leggy. It's okay. Oh, that's teeny tiny. I had to mute myself because I was coughing. That's you. I was coughing. Eggy Leggy and their guitar teacher, Denise Venerial. Whoa. <laughs> what are you oh talking God. about? <laughs> Says it right there. <laughs> Plain as day. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that whoa. one? The background of our uh, Roll20 thing changed. I don't know why. Uh, uh, no, that's not bad. That's bad. Uh, All right, I got to read everyone's question, third question so that uh, I don't steal. Oh, Allie, that's perfect. Thank you. <laughs> I was looking ahead for my fourth question. To answer and... Mwah. <laughs> he um, rumor is great. How high are we getting with the stakes on this? Oh, um, they're usually at about like knee level or like between <laughs> knee and hip level. 
Oh, that's huge. <laughs> that's got to be that's got to be like a five or six hundred dollar steak. No, oh what? They're God. in a case. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, everybody. You heard three different uses of the word steak. <laughs> what this, what they get when they come to a friend's of the table, you know? Yep. Okay. Does everybody have their answers for each of their things? We still thinking? Uh, I, I I have a third one incoming. Okay. All right. Take your time. For some reason, my window capture of the game. Oh, there we go. It, when I put it away, it goes away. <laughs> um, do um, I guess Keith is the last row. So do we want to read our answers, yeah, and then go. by yeah, the sure. time we we can do it by waiter rules. Um, okay, so I'm going to start because I'm left. Waiter rules? Is that how that's... Well, because... <laughs> I just want to... Sorry. I like it. You know what? It's like, oh, everybody else order it by the time they're done. Yeah, I'll yeah, know yeah, what no, I want. I, I immediately got you. I just... <laughs> like, shout out. Thank you. Okay. Who do you admire even though they can't stand you? Mine is Thomas Genie, who is a supervisor for the floral department. Um, where are you afraid to go, even though you know it's irrational? The walk-in freezer? And then, uh, what are you sure nobody will miss if you take it? A die-cast model car next door in the accountant's window. Oh. Uh, my turn, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Whose name did you paint <laughs> on a bridge? Uh, Lorraine, Rainy Grimes, we were in marching band together in high school. Uh, where was your worst job ever? Big Ned's drive-in picture show. I didn't even drive yet. And what has your neighbor been trying to sell for months with no offers? Joey Trevino has been trying to sell his shitty Honda Civic that he painted Goku on for over a year now. Whoa. <laughs> no buyers? No. Shocking. What's wrong with this town? He didn't paint a great Goku. <laughs> and I'm just waiting for the price to come down. Just uh, playing a little bit. Uh, Making him sweat. Um, so my questions are, who do you meet secretly? My guitar instructor, Denise Villarreal. Uh, oh. where have you stopped going? <laughs> Come on. Though you used to go all the time, <laughs> meatballs. What gift does your ex refuse to take back? Former teacup pig meatball named after the bar. Um, where did a wild rumor you still kind of, this is my fourth question. So I'll just, I'll just say it now. Uh, where did a wild rumor you still kind of believe supposedly take place? I went with Allie's walk-in freezer for this detail. The last general manager was found dead in the walk-in freezer. Wow. Does that make... I? Am I so irrational if that's the case? Well, it's a wild rumor. It's not a rational sure, rumor. Sure, okay. It's not okay. a truth. Okay. You know? Fair. Okay, fair. Well, okay. at some point you've got a you've got an obituary and a police report, <laughs> which are probably don't exist. Okay, which this don't is just exist. One of those like rumors. Okay, no, this sure. Doesn't, this is not. I, I you know, <laughs> play to find out what happens. But in my elementary school, there was a broom closet, and all of us decided that dead people were in there. Mm. Oh yeah, that's like because it was a small yeah. closet that we couldn't go in. Therefore. <laughs> Dead people inside of it. Sure. Did they have obituaries? No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Fair. Fair. Um, okay. Well, Janine has uh, led by example here. Um, and uh, she was in the fourth question and used one of our answers as her answer. And now that gives the rest of us, the opportunity to return to the questions list and choose one more. Um, but also, Keith, do you want to read your stuff? Oh, please. Yep. <laughs> I've got, uh, who still holds a grudge for that fight you had years ago? Brendan from kindergarten. He was stealing my best friend. What's his problem? <laughs> Where did a wild rumor you still kind of believe supposedly take place? 
Mrs. Cunningham, the old fifth grade teacher who works at the library now, is turned into a vampire by the weird gas station attendant while self-serving gas at night. Oh, that's where the vampire was. <laughs> what important thing did you lose the other day? A scratcher worth uh, with a one thousand dollar cash prize. <laughs> <laughs> that's tough. I wouldn't want to lose that. No. Yeah, that is important. Wow. Okay, I have no idea what my fourth question is going to be. Let me look at this list. Oh, I think I have an idea that we I can also have an cross idea. over into. Mine's from the people section. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just like say what my answer to this is because it's faster than writing it out. <laughs> um, I'm going to do who knows something that could get you fired, and it's Thomas Genie, the Florida supervising. Oh. Thomas Genie. I'll zoom in on some of these. Yeah, I, I, I typed too much. <laughs> oh, Jay, Jay Harkins, that's a good point. Uh, Self-serve gas isn't legal in Jersey, right? <gasps> it isn't. Maybe it was retribution for trying to self-serve gas. Self-serve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They make you put on a uniform shirt before you pump your gas and then hang it up when you leave. What? While being served. Mm -hmm. All right, I have my last question. Big Ned's drive in a picture show. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a, um, it's, a it's his passion, you know? It's mm -hmm. like a, it, it's, is it a movie theater or is it just pictures? It's I have just the same it's like question. A, <laughs> it's not just pictures. It's like, <laughs> it's like, you know, you go down to the picture show, see what yeah. they got going. Mm. I know that that's what plugs in his <laughs> phone and does his iPhoto slideshow thing. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. I've done that before, but it's I not know, that often. <laughs> I know what that is, but I just wanted to make sure that, uh, that the picture show person knew that that's what that was. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, I've got my last question. I'm going to read it out real quick okay. before we go on to more questions. Where are you afraid to go even though you know it's irrational? Meat locker where the old manager died. Wait, that's literally mine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that's, that's my question and my answer. <laughs> hey, yeah, and yours was from your original three. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, so I remembered Janine's, but I forgot what it was based on. I, but I added in the manager death to it. I, I mean, I'll allow it, but that I is know, what you did. I, no, no, I know that's what I did. I'm just saying I forgot. Because I was only thinking of Janine's. Sure. Okay. Um... <laughs> I mean, it would be even weirder if it was like the same answer, but a different question. <clears throat> so it's not it's not weird that it's the same of both. OK, uh, yeah, that makes it more normal for sure. <laughs> it makes it more normal. Right. We had the same we had the same answer to a question. <laughs> um. um. I'm so torn because I have two answers that I want to use and I'm not sure which question I want to pair them with. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go with who have you secretly helped when they needed it? And it's going to be the vampire lady. Hell yeah. Miss Cunningham. She's not really a vampire though, right? No, but people think she is. Okay. Children. <laughs> you know. I mean, it says Miss Cunningham, the old fifth grade teacher who works at the library uh, now. <laughs> Wait, who works at the library? She works at the library now. Now. She was the fifth grade teacher. Now 
was turned into a vampire with a weird I gas can... station attendant. Here we go. I'm going to add two commas. To... <laughs> there we go. We got two commas to fix that. <laughs> Mrs. Cunningham, the old fifth grade teacher who worked at the library now, okay. was turned into a vampire by the weird gas station attendant while being served gas at night. Okay. Also, wait, there are vampires in Bluff City. Yeah. I yeah. forgot. This, vampires do exist here. Actually. So she, maybe she's a vampire. She might be. She might be. Listen, we don't re- tend to have normal librarians in Bluff City. <laughs> That's true. Okay. I'm going to put this here and I'm not gonna have roll 20 move it great thank you roll 20. um just um, i have the fourth question um oh sure yeah. yeah uh who knows something that could get you fired thomas genie caught me stealing stuff from the library after work one night oh wow Maybe so I should put saw instead of caught it, but you know, they both work. Also, does anybody know what departments of the store they want to work in? Because I have an idea. Oh, please. I think I want to work in the bakery. Wow. Well, okay, sure. Here for that AM shift. Yeah. Oh, I I know. <laughs> I just remembered a thing exists. You know you remember a thing exists? I sure do. That feeling when. Yeah, this grocery, grocery does have a florist because Thomas Genie is the florist supervisor and uh-huh. he saw me stealing stuff after work. <gasps> It's just it's a couple bucks. It's like fine. Nobody even checks them out. Yeah. Hey, everybody, steal money from the place that you work at. That's I'm my I'm just saying. <laughs> I, when I worked at uh, an unnamed cinema chain, um, I got so much free candy, and they didn't even know it. Uh, <laughs> oh, we definitely don't steal stealing, products. We, we don't endorse stealing, stealing, but I am just talking about my lived experience. Uh-huh. <laughs> Autonomous <laughs> and make the choices that you feel are right for you, independent uh-huh. of uh-huh. anything we will ever say. Mm-hmm. And if exactly. you want to, if you want a show to stand up and actively encourage stealing, go to run youtube.com slash <laughs> run button. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes you count money and you have access to it. Um, I'm gonna move this a little bit so it looks better. Okay, are we on to the is, we, the... is the old manager named, or is it... Uh, is, is he unnamed? I know, like... I, I don't know. You guys can answer this because it's your questions, but the idea of it just being the old manager and, like, <laughs> it yeah, changing which old good. manager... This is really yeah. good. And it, they weren't named because the answer was the freezer. So right. the thing I was referencing was the freezer. Mm-hmm. Um, it's Yeah, it wasn't, like, a person question. Yeah, it was a my location. New, my question. new fourth question: What would solve a big problem if you had it? Police report from the night the old manager died. <laughs> oh, okay. Does, does that really reference? What's that referencing now? That's referencing ref- your question about the general manager. But what pro- but big problem would it solve? You need to be referencing. Why is someone either- killing the old manager? He's not killing. <laughs> No one said killing. You need to. My character believes need, that the the that my old okay. fifth grade teacher is a vampire. Okay. But your fourth question has to reference a person, place, or thing that has been created elsewhere. Yeah, so the old this manager. Would reference, that's that that isn't the character that's been created. I'm I failed sorry. to see how that is. An, I failed to see how you referencing the gen the last general manager who was found dead. Is not creating a character. Because it, because it, it was a, because it was a thing. It was a. It's a place question. Place right? question. So the thing that exists here. This is really this. Is really I crazy. feel like that's <laughs> crazy to say that you can't create a character in a question about a place. No, I mean because I created Miss Cunningham in a question about a place. 
We did you? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Because the the answers are right. Yeah. In, where are did a wild true you still kind of believe supposed to take place? Yeah. So that's the answer to that is where, and that's the gas. St- but you, the thing is, like, you named her, and you didn't name the gas station. You gotta name the gas station. Well, but you just call the gas station the gas station. You don't say like the shell. I guess. Sure. I, think it's, I think it's more descriptive of how people talk to not name it. I can't mm. believe you're turning down the opportunity to name a bluff city gas chain. Oh. Um, I mean, I I will name it. <laughs> <laughs> it will. Oh okay, so there's a place uh, down the street for me that it just has a big sign that looks sort of like how a how Sitco sign would be, but it just says <laughs> serving gas. <laughs> and I also don't think oh. it serves gas because it looks closed. Huh. Um, I've never seen him getting gas there. It gives so, him gas. So that's where a vampire would work. A vampire would work at a gas station that says serving gas but doesn't have a name. Mm. And also, I've never seen it working. Mm. I've never seen anyone mm. serving gas there. <laughs> yeah. So the other thing is also, I don't think fourth questions are allowed to reference other fourth questions. Like there's oh. there's not a specific rule against it, but I think in the structure of the I did jump the gun, and if I hadn't jumped the gun, that wouldn't have been available information. Mm-hmm. That well, it would have been if we had, because I would come no. after you, so I would have it when answering it would, my last. You would have no. <laughs> I, I see how it'd be <laughs> unlikely that I would. Uh, what a good semantic <laughs> Because you, if you, without my answer, you wouldn't have known that the old manager maybe potentially died in the freezer. It would just be the freezer. Mm. Unless I was answering my fourth question after you were reading your fourth question, which is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fine to play in. Yeah. Janine, are you attempting to put up, like, a veil over this dead manager? <laughs> no. Yeah, that I think is a better question. The, so the actual thing I'm worried about here is that, you know, the purpose of the fourth question is to interconnect things. Mm-hmm. And if we sure. have two fourth questions that are interconnecting the same point, you're losing some richness. That is a good some, point. Some, like, potential, mm-hmm. um, you know, threads. Mm-hmm. Also, we're increasingly making my irrational fear... <laughs> more rational <laughs> well i so the thing the thing i was trying to do is connect my irrational fear fear to your irrational fear using janine's answer uh-huh oh uh, you're going for a triple yeah. <laughs> okay. okay wait what's your irrational fear that the my old my old uh, <laughs> fifth grade teacher miss cunningham works at the library now is a vampire and that, that the, and that the and that the that the 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 originating vampire is the gas station that's you know next door. But how does that connect with the freezer? Mysterious deaths <laughs> in and around the parking lot. Die though. <laughs> She's alive, right? <laughs> she, you so you gotta get a look at her. <laughs> get a look at her next time you're at the library. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Boy. Do I have to say mysterious death instead of mysterious deaths? Is that how to phrase it without getting a cackle? <laughs> Just... You're the one who said it connects them. I was like, how? There's a vampire uh, and a death. Mm-hmm. <laughs> by freezer. <laughs> it didn't say that he died by freezing in the freezer. Just found dead in the freezer. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it seems we are at a standstill. I'm, every, I'm not the one being weird about this. <laughs> I just feel like great. these are cover stories at this point. These are, these are no, I intended for this all the while. No, this is what I this is what I intended. All the while, uh huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm going to write down my character name. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did start talking about how there weren't going to be deaths in this. And now <laughs> we all immediately disagree. I with said that. there could be funny <laughs> That's deaths. True. That's uh-huh. true. No, I stand by it. And you know also, why? It's, it's not a, it was, my intention was not for it to be a real death. My intention was 
ha ha, Ali's character is afraid of the freezer. I'm going to make up some bullshit about why someone might be afraid of the freezer. Um, yeah, that's that's I, I don't think the general manager was found dead. in that. You, we were trying to make a haunted freezer and now it's it's the conspiracy. <laughs> Vampire conspiracy. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Worst kind. As it goes. We're the best kind of pen, though. We're all in this together. <laughs> I don't how it feels to me. Okay. All right. <laughs> Again, you with, yourself? you know, with the... Uh... <laughs> I'm always playing myself. Okay. I literally, like, the, while you guys were arguing, I was like, oh, I'm going to name my character Keith Frank. And then I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you can name your character I've been thinking about naming a character after one of the other players for months but I just haven't been in a bluff game oh okay yeah not content with say... naming a character after yourself you do like, <laughs> well, a logical I'm gonna play Austin Walker sometime <laughs> okay slightly have... controversial last name choice I will I will flag that uh Frank? Allie? Oh, sorry. Uh, I, I now understand the question, are you playing yourself because my name is written as Keith? No, I'm just still thinking of a, of a first okay, last name. Okay, okay. Is Frank a uh, bad word? E so, <laughs> so, in the past, so there was this mommy blogger, right? Mommy vlogger. Huh? Um, <laughs> and she was really Christian and oh, she no. like vlogged her family a lot. Um, and she just got like sentenced like last week oh. because she gave her children to this like religious quote unquote therapist who like chained them up and wouldn't feed them. Sorry, I should have content warning that oh. uh, in a big way. Oh, um, her name is Ruby Frankie, but it's spelled like that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, I, you know, I. Um, sure, you're having a connotation. I don't here. know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just flagging that in case that affects what you want to name your character. I don't think it's a problem, but I just want, I want you to know just in case mm. it comes up. Sure. Um, in the chat or something. I don't uh -huh. know. Uh huh. Well, now everybody's aware. I did not know that, and I was not thinking that. Yeah. Um, I still think that Frank, with an E at the end, like, it's old-time shoppy. <laughs> it's funny to me. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. So, I think uh -huh. I'm just going to keep it, and I'm just going to go for a different vibe with my character. I'm I mean, shocked by how many go. people didn't know this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know this. What was that name? This Frankie, and, like, I forget what uh -oh. the what the site what the therapist lady's name is, but she's like a problem. But they just got sentenced <laughs> no, like no, last no week. Shit. I thought it was just like a thing that everyone knew. <laughs> There's been a lot going on in the world. Uh, yeah. True. Yeah. True. <laughs> God I hope damn. Those kids are, are doing better. I wish I was the best. Yeah. Don't actually know what the mom's sentence was, but I hope she's in jail. Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, I never heard of that. <laughs> um, anyway yeah does anybody else want to introduce their characters um yeah i don't know if my character's got any name in common with like someone who's done something horrible uh, I, should google, I should google my name real quick my character is jennifer gibson people call her jenny she doesn't love that doesn't love it no it's like fine but she's not gonna say anything but it's like not preferred William, mm, no, okay, I'm not, it's fine. <laughs> I googled murderers named Gibson, and then oh. I found one, and then I was like, you know, I actually want to back off of this. <laughs> you were going to talk about um, science fiction writer. So. No, it's, I just, we're, yeah, I'm, yeah. it's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love the person in chat who says there's got to be a criminal who's had like every name. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's been a lot of murderers. In that um, I was looking for fresh cases. Sure. Fresh cases head over the bakery. <laughs> Judy, what's your character's name? Eddie Leg. Okay. We got a lot of superfluous, superfluous <laughs> ease. 
it's old timey and shoppy. Yeah. Oh, you would over. Okay, yeah. You had already done and that. And Eddie Leg like, works at the lottery counter. Okay. Good name, Keith. <laughs> um, my character's name is Nathaniel Month. He works in produce and heavy boxes department. Okay. I guess I didn't say I'm a PM key holder. Um, I think it's basically like being a cashier, but I could like also go to the safe and like unlock the. Oh yeah, they baby give you formula. extra responsibility yeah. without a raise. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Eh. <laughs> um. <laughs> when I worked at GameStop and I was a key holder, you got an extra dollar fifty. Whoa! Oh, wow. Live in large. Yep. Wow. Um. Okay. Are we ready to move on to the plots section? Yeah. Okay. I will read from the book, which is on the screen. Good. Okay. Plots are problems that the characters will be trying to solve. They're here to give you something to do when you start playing. They're divided in A and B plots. A plots will usually take more time and effort to resolve, and they have two person blanks. Uh, if you pick an A plot, ask another player to fill one of those blanks with their PC. If nobody takes you up on it, use a secondary character, but Pick one that was created by another player. Uh, fill in the remaining uh, blanks from the people's places and things list that you just created. It's fine for more than one player to use the same answer. That gives the PCs reasons to interact. During the game, you may run out of things to do with your plot because it's been resolved or because you're stuck. If this happens, just take another from the list or write down your own. Take a token when you make a new plot. <clears throat> a thing that I didn't realize when I was setting up this game is that we each have our own plots. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not just an A plot and a B plot. Um, so shout outs to me for that and for how I've organized the thing. Um, but now we've all learned this together. Um, I'm going to read through the A plots and then you're just all going to have to rush to jump in to see who's going to start reading B. Okay. Uh -huh. um, person one is marrying person two at place and they ask to use your online ornated minister certificate to officiate. You think they're making a big mistake. Person one owes you money, but paid you with thing instead. Turns out it's stolen property and it belongs <laughs> to person two. You and your old friend, person one, were very into witchcraft as kids. I wonder. <laughs> now they claim they've learned real magic they want you to join a ritual at place and bring something that belongs to person two we can't i know everybody we cannot do that <laughs> like i mean like i'm sorry but we just spent a half hour on the vampire thing i know and the death of the freezer <laughs> We just can't all pick it. Um, person one is back in town, staying with person two after a d disastrous attempt to make it elsewhere. This is great for you. Life is more fun when they're around, but they're they're already planning to leave again. You're willing. You're meeting them at place. Can you convince them to stay? Place where you spend a lot of your time is about to be sold at the lantern to do a quarry. You uh you have a plan to prevent that. You just need to get a thing from person one. Oh, that thing is capitalized there? I think it meant to be... Uh, fill in. Yeah. Um, and you get past... <clears throat> you just need to get the thing from person one and get past person two, who's supposed to keep troublemakers from disrupting the sale. Okay, I'm doing B plot, so I jumped in first. Uh, last night at place, you had a big argument with person one. You don't even remember what it was about, but now person two is mad at you too. You're supposed to deliver thing to someone, but the paper got wet and you can only read part of the address. Is it place one or place two? You're sure a person stole thing from you and you need to get it back. They probably hit it at place. Person who has a shitty job at place needs your help to pass an exam and get a better job in the city. If they do, you'll probably never see them again. A big friendly dog appeared at place and won't stop following you and you're already late to meet up with person who's afraid of dogs. It's time for your the annual festival at place. You and your rival, person, always enter the same contest. They won last year. Can you take back your title and win the prize thing? The rec league you coach for has been invited to send an all-star team to the state capital, but your star player, person one, and your good friend, <laughs> person two, who plays the same position on another team, accuse each other of cheating. You and person one are determined to capture a legendary cryptid. <laughs> it was last seen near place. You need thing to lure and trap it. You need to keep anyone from scaring it off or finding your trap first. 
You did something terrible to person once and you've never apologized. You've successfully avoided them for years, but they just became your new boss and you keep running into them at place. Person one gave you a thoughtful gift thing, but person two insists it's cursed and you've had some bad luck lately, but person one wouldn't do that to you. Would you, would they? Incredible. We have yeah. a lot to work with here. Um, mm. um, hey, what was the thing that we all learned together just now when we read that the plot? Thing? Oh, that or everybody has an A and B plot. It's not we like, yeah, um, Got it. it's not Got like, it. I thought it was just as game we did it. Um, sure. So I guess we could, uh, I don't know how to use these boxes now. Um, I guess we can all just write in them. Yeah. Even though maybe this B plot box is going to have to be bigger than it is. Okay, goddamn. We could good. write our plots in the journal. That's space. what I was thinking we might need to do and then just share the general notes section or something. Oh, sure, yeah. Um I could also make the general notes Roll 20. Okay. And then in the plot spaces, the designated plot spaces, we can do like a summarize like person one, person two, place, and like a, like ordained minister. Yeah, well, I mean like, yeah. So that we have space to just write everything. Mm -hmm. Sure, 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 sure. Um, okay, yeah. Well, does anybody have any plots that are jumping out to them? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> I mean, I would love to do magic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I also have uh, the, uh, the scratcher one that could be the uh can i make can i okay please i know that it's very uh oh yeah of course sylvie's going for the witchcraft one wow. but however i think it would be really funny for and uh, i don't know would keith would you be interested in being the other person in that yes um and then the ritual we want to do is on the vampire lady yeah cool. <laughs> immediately jumped out to me yeah <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're the one who's claimed to have learned real magic. Is that cool with you? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have learned real magic. I clearly. <laughs> the, the demons are flowing through you. All right, cool. When has your neighbor been trying to sell you for months with no offers? Okay. Um, if uh, someone wants to be owed money, I do have I have that ticket that was that disappeared. Mm -hmm. That's an A plot. Where would the gas station be the location for this A plot? Maybe uh, um, the one between you and me, Keith. Yeah. Also, I guess we could also or do a library. ritual at meatballs if you really want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the library is good. Um. We have a name for Miss Cunningham. I like this because it also just immediately establishes that Keith and I went to school together. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, do, do you go by Nathan, Nathan at all, or is it all Nathaniel? Say, sorry, say again. You go by Nathan at all, or is it all Nathaniel? Uh, yeah, Nathan's fine. Nathan, okay. Nate, Nathaniel. Oh, I'm calling you Nate. <laughs> <laughs> You're a yeah, Nate to me now. Nate month. Uh, it's funny there's only five A plots. Yeah. Uh, mm. I keep trying to find the appropriate thing to put this car into. I think it might be. Okay. Which car? The model car or the Goku car? The Goku car. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> wait, wait, we settle on the library or the gas station? I completely spaced uh, for the ritual. Uh, library, I think. Li okay. 
Also, um, what's the store called? That's a great question. That I Moster's don't have Grosters. To. Moster's Grosters? Excuse me? Grosteries. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> At least to be a word. Please. <laughs> Wait, what did I just do? What just happened there? Uh, also, sorry, I think we're supposed to pick an A plot or a B plot each because it says if you pick an A plot, not when you pick an A plot. Oh. So I that think makes that's it make why... a lot more sense if there's only five. Okay, okay. well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I um, kind of want a B plot instead of an A plot. Are we That's still down for witchcraft, though? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. As long as you're fine being an A plot. I, at this point. Queen? I mean, would you would you prefer it, Keith? Because it can yeah, go either yeah, no, way. That's, I'm, I think that's great. I love that. I'm into it. Okay. Wait, okay. I was asking if you would prefer it as your A plot. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's cool. Fine. Which plots are, have been taken at this point? I think, I think that's the only the A plot is the witchcraft A plot. Okay. Oh, you and your friends are okay, 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 okay. Yeah, okay. So back when I back when I thought I was big to picking both. Um yeah. I was thinking uh the person won owes you money but paid you with um the scratch off card. But I also really wanted to do you're supposed to deliver Goku card to somebody, but the paper got wet and you could only read part of the address. Oh, Is it place one or place two? Really good. Um so I think I'm gonna take the uh, Janine, you said you wanted to be plot, right? Was that the one that you were thinking of? No, I'm doing you did something terrible <gasps> to person once and you've never apologized you successfully avoided them for years but they just became your new boss and you keep running into them at place whoa okay so i did something terrible to you <laughs> to me mm -hmm. whoa um keith do you know what you're thinking of i'm close okay uh, let me let me i just need to reread the plot thing real quick yeah. uh, what was the what was the special note about a B plot? Uh, I, uh, there was oh, it was just the A plot. If you take yeah, an if a you plot, do A okay. plot, you have to get other people to suggest things for you. If you take a B okay, plot, got you it. just do it. Mm. Um, I am going to offer, does someone want to have stolen my scratch ticket? I think that would be so fucked up for me if we're doing a ritual together and I'm still <laughs> Also because we already have a link. So uh -huh. yeah, I'm going to this one out. Okay, Keith. Well, th yeah. okay, this is tough because... No, okay, but well, this is going to be a tradesy situation. Okay. Do you want to make a bargain with me? <laughs> sure. I mean, I would love to hear what my side of the bargain is. So long as you promise to have your plot involve a thing, which is the Goku car, I will <laughs> either, um, well, no, it would have been, it would have been stolen from you. So it would have been, I would have involved right. the scratch ticket into my plot. Um, owes well, you money, okay. but paid you with thing. It turns out it's so, stolen property and belongs to Keith, to so the Nathaniel. Yeah, the way that you could do it instead is that that you owe. Um, now uh, I can pick a plot, and I can say that you owe me money because you I found out that you stole my scratch ticket, and you pay me with the Goku car <laughs> thing. Oh my but it God. turns out that that Goku <laughs> car belongs to person two. Um. Because someone finally bought the Goku car, or didn't, and it's the, it's the, the side character. When the chat, uh, Dana Callista Alexa in the chat says, "I hope Goku defeats the <laughs> evil freezer." <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Um, because person one owes you money, but they paid me with a scratch off ticket and it belongs to Nathaniel. Makes sense. I just have to pick first and one. Um, mm. And then the, the Goku card is still in the weeds, I guess, is the only thing there. Um, which is, you know, which is what you do. Hmm. It's true. You got me there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no rebuttal. I'm just saying if I if I fulfill your need to have the scratch off ticket involved, you yeah. can fulfill my need to see the Goku thing in one of these. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right. <laughs> I, I think that the A plot can cover both. If you're trying to pay me with the Goku car because you owe me money. Or maybe it's uh we could also be the you know how in what way do you want the Goku car involved? Or you just don't pay any I d I just want in one of these thing prompts, I would like the Goku car to be there. But I yeah. agree that this A plot but paid you with a scratch off ticket. It's stolen property who belongs to you makes the most sense for that one. Oh, so my pitch is that actually it's flipped and I'm person one that you owe money to because of the scratch off. So the thing isn't the scratch off. The thing is actually the Goku car and the scratch off is just a detail. Oh, OK. Right and then the Goku yeah. car is stolen property. The, no, no. The, you've bought you've gotten the car somehow to give to me. Uh -huh. oh, I guess yeah, it would be yeah. It turns out it's stolen property, right? Which is what. So yeah. I guess in this case scenario, you would have you would have stolen the scratch off ticket and then stolen the car to pay for the scratch. <laughs> see, yeah, ticket. see, this is about like a bar. It is. A, it does make you seem like a pretty bad. <laughs> <and chronic laughs> yeah. Um, that's fine. Yeah, we can just we can just we can simplify it. I don't need the scratch off thing involved. Mm -hmm. Um, we can do Goku car instead. Um, you're the. Where? What was the original thing? Oh, no, we just do your thing. Person one. Yeah, I'm where? I don't know. I lost track of. Well, OK, so again, <laughs> what I was responding is that I would take the A plot. Yeah. A, a different NPC owes me money, but paid me with a scratch off. It belongs to Nathaniel. And then you would do like, for instance, you're supposed to deliver the Goku card to someone. But the address, the paper got wet and you can only read part of the address. Or oh, okay. where is that one? That's a, that's one of the B plots. But okay. then the, I oh, mean, here it is. You're supposed to deliver the Goku card to someone, but the paper got wet and you can only read part of the address. Is it um, place one? Or, uh, but if you had a different plot in mind for yourself, then we don't have to um, do this. This sort of no, no gentleman's no. exchange. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic gentleman's exchange. Yeah. We just need to figure out where the two places in that mm -hmm. plot are. And then, and then who the person who owes me money is. Yeah. Okay. But I'm going to copy and paste. What the fuck is happening in Roll20? Um, it's just bad all the time. Yeah. Oh, you know why Roll20 sucks ass? Uh -huh. Is because I'm not going to... Oh, whoa, whoa, that's why. Um, I'm not going to be able to, like... I can't have one text box with two different types of texts in it. And that's going to kill me. Yeah, that's true. It's a rare disease, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to make it happen on my own. <clears throat> Can I not drag images here? That's a shame. You can, like, upload them as an asset and then... Drag them. No, I don't think. No, no, no. I mean, I can't as a like. I'm trying to use one of the built-in assets, and I can't. Oh, mm. then that's foolish. Because I'm a player, I think. Uh. -uh. 
trying to bring a logo in for us, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Wait, wait. Come on. There. Oh, look at this. Now this is gaming. Is <laughs> drive in picture show. Or meatballs. What's meatballs again? It's uh, an Italian restaurant turned bar. Like dive bar kind of thing. I know it does sound like really bad uh, male exotic dance. Yeah, I was going to say. But it does. <laughs> <laughs> I, we set up a very, a very believable lore, which is that it was an a Italian restaurant that people only like to drink at. <clears throat> and so they turned yeah. it into a bar because it was basically already a bar. The bar was always full and the tables were always empty, so. Make the bar, the bar big. It was always full and the tables yeah. were always empty. Yeah, yeah. We've all been there. Oh, yes. Okay. Fix this one, too. Yes, X Brocken up points out it can still become a strip club. There's a. <laughs> I feel like I've referenced this before, or Austin has. There is like a. I think they're like a chain, like a small chain of strip clubs in. Canada called Beef Baron. Whoa. What? Um, or maybe it's just the one. I think there's at least a couple of them. And I feel like my dad told me once about like going to one in like Montreal or something, but it might have been mistaken. Um, and they apparently have like good beef. <laughs> and also you know it's cancers. in the name. You'd hope as much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do like a solid cheap lunch, or they used to. That's something uh, that I've heard a lot about strip fish. <laughs> There was a very famous incident that happened during the lockdown when they were doing the NBA bubble where a uh, player left to go to a strip club and claimed it was just because he wanted the wings. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what I'm that's, thinking right now. Yeah. Sure. It is a, it's a very <clears throat> funny excuse because it's like um, it doesn't matter how good the food is. It's you can't say that you went there just for the food. You just can't say it. it doesn't no. work as an excuse. Yeah, no one's ever going to believe it's it. It's got the only good wings and there's no such thing as a good non strip club chicken wing. I mean, I think the real thing is that like it's cheap. Like mm. the yeah. Are cheap yeah. because mm -hmm. they want to get you in there. Yeah, mm -hmm. but NBA player so I would, I would, well, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For a general person, I would 100% accept I went to the strip club for a big lunch. Sure. Um, oh. Beef Baron was a place with female dancers, I think, okay. to be clear. Sure. Uh, okay. And it might have also just been a single location. I thought they had like a couple at least, but yeah. Um, I don't know if they're still open or not. Okay, I I put in Denise as the person who owes me money, but I realize that this is an A plot and we might prefer a player character here but uh jennifer's already friends with nathaniel so i don't know uh, maybe you're stealing scratch cards behind I mean, his, his back i'm thinking about it um it'd I, be a real shitty move <laughs> it'd be really shitty i mean maybe well i came to you with the magic thing so like we uh, we could have reconnected after you've already started stealing my stuff and i'm like yeah. hey we should be friends again and do magic i just enjoyed the idea of us being homies you know yeah that's fine yeah yeah, yeah. we can stay homies <laughs> i can keep it as i was gonna ask um eddie here but eddie already did something bad to me so <laughs> also giving I me mean... stolen property i don't know <laughs> no. no okay Okay, so I'm going to keep it I'm as a, I'm a lot of things. Eddie is a lot of things. <laughs> Eddie's probably not a thief. Okay. So it's your guitar structure instead who who is evil. Um, uh, I'm evil. <laughs> well, we don't, in this town, we don't know. <laughs> a dirt bag, though. It could be a misunderstanding. Yeah, maybe. maybe I, I work at the, the lottery counter. Exactly. Sure. I just sure. found it on the floor and been like, sure. oh, I owe her money. I'm going to pay with my guitar lessons with the scratch off that they're going to give back to me and yeah. <laughs> give them. There's plausible and, deniability uh, here. I work at the lottery. Yeah. And maybe you just didn't hold on to it tight enough or whatever. Um, maybe I just didn't hold on to it tight enough. 
reputation. Now that you know more about your character's background relationships, consider what their friends, neighbors, and rivals think of them. You start off with t- four traits on two axes. Jock versus nerd and prep versus goth. Choose yeah. a point on the jock, nerd, prep, goth graph. Remember, this is your reputation, not your reality. It's at least a bit wrong. Numbers can change, and there's a way to create a fifth <laughs> trait during the game, so don't worry too much about getting it right. Um, your reputation traits are are positive for your quadrant on the chart and negative uh, in other quadrants. Zero is neutral. Your jock and nerd traits should out, add up to zero, and your and so should your prep and goth ch- traits. For example, if you have plus two jock and plus one goth, you have to have minus two nerd and minus one prep. You can yeah. even ha- all right. have all zeros if nobody knows what to think of you. Anybody have, you know, and this is this or is I our go. this is our reputation, not reality. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, this is what how people perceive you. Mm-hmm. I'm I have a vibe, um, yeah. but I'm letting you know if anybody wants to jump in here and really feel strongly. Oh, okay, Eddie is already on the board. So let's, we're off to the races here. (laughs) Claim your squares. I should use my real name. (laughs) (laughs) So I said I should use my real name as as I deleted my real name and added the character's name. That's how Mm -hmm. in character I am. Mm -hmm. Method, very method. Yeah. Um... Not surprised. I'm not doing anything surprising with what I've got here. Yeah. You know. Play to your strengths. Mm-hmm. I feel like I'm also following my typecast here. However, well, it's good though. However. Again, it's just the perception. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've all claimed this. So I am a, a one prep, a one nerd, a negative one goth, and a negative one jock. Uh, I have two goth, one nerd, negative two prep, uh, and <laughs> negative one jock. Am I reading that right? Yeah. I think I am. Uh, oh, sorry, Jean, you're next. You Oh, uh, I have one jock, one goth, negative one nerd, negative one prep. Uh, I have two jock, zero prep, zero goth, negative two nerd. Wonderful. (laughs) No, no, sorry. That was that was just me rubbing my face. I was also being quoted in chat as saying, "I have two goths," and bro, I got way more than that. Come on. (laughs) I'm putting on sunglasses and I'm lighting a cigarette and leaving. Yeah, I love dude too. (laughs) You and two blocks at once. All right. I gotta go. Finish setup. Give your town a name. Sketch a rough map. (laughs) Map. Mark the places you've created and where the. Oh, and where your PCs live in relation to them. Um, maybe add a few roads and body of water. Spend a few minutes discussing uh, ways your plots can fit together, but not too long. You'll figure out the rest in play. Um, I forgot that we had to do that. Uh, so what? <laughs> I guess Mosher's we... Mosher's Grocers? Is this new? <laughs> I think... I'm trying to fuck with it, though. <laughs> That was, I tried to clean that's up just, Keith's suggestion. Yes, that's just yeah. mine without calling it. Yeah. Obviously, Moster's Grosters is just what people call it to insult it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Also, people, you, people in the chat, jock goths exist. So, there, I know so many yeah. jock yeah. goths. Yeah. Uh-huh. Google yeah. health goth. Yeah. Do you Google? <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a ton of... Have you? <laughs> sorry, have you not heard of uh, the... Uh, Glenn uh, Danzig? <laughs> No, the, um, <laughs> fuck, uh, the mind freak himself. Oh, yeah, Chris Angel. Chris Angel. Oh, sure. Is Shadow the Hedgehog a health goth? I think so. 
I could see it. Uh huh. Just I checking. don't. No, Just I checking. think I think <laughs> I, he has a gun. Yeah, Jock's gonna. But have he's guns. running around. Guns are prep to me. Whoa! Oh, no, I don't. I don't know if that. No. No, guns can be prepped. Guns can be either. I think, with the prep, I think He's as a, a prep Glock. matures, a prep becomes a gun. <laughs> so the, thing, the real thing is that Shadow the, the Hedgehog is, of course, pipeline. a science experiment, which is nerd. And so you have to balance, okay, he's super fast, but he has rocket shoes, and he's... No, uh, okay, no, 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 no. Flubber is a nerd, yeah. I don't think Flubber's a nerd. Frankenstein's monster a isn't a nerd. Like, come on. I think Flubber actually is a nerd. Flubber is a prep nerd. Mm. Um, but, but... Fr anyway, Shadow the Hedgehog's not. Frankenstein's monster is obviously a goth... A goth jock. A goth, a goth jock. jock, yeah. Yeah, yeah. famously. It's so strong. Uh-huh. Okay, but well. Shadow has like soap shoes and shit. Like, he's not a, a prep. That's. It might even. He might even. You know what? He might be a goth nerd. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's he's what I'm saying. Really is that a, he's not genetically. He's not like physically athletic. He has tools. He's tool assisted athletic. That makes He's the ultimate life form. He's the ultimate so. life he's form. He's a goth he's, nerd. He's, he's, he's enhanced by his tools, but he is not. A, he's, he's not. Enhanced just his by tools. his tools in a way that like barely makes him equal to Sonic. So. Wow. Wow. And Sonic is Max Jock. Sonic that, is yeah, yeah. Jock, yeah. Sonic is yeah. too Jock. So if we define Shadow by where we're placing Sonic, then there go. <laughs> What's GM here on this map? That's Grocers Moshers or whatever. I think you got the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> It's the French version of Grocers and Mushers. <laughs> okay. no, that's, where the, that's where we all go after work to unwind, is the Mushers. We, it's the Grocers Mushers. Okay, this is fake. Don't worry about it. Damn, yeah, no, it's being fake. <laughs> Not sarcastic. Sorry, that sounded sarcastic. Didn't mean it that way. I was actually impressed by the moving of the letters. This is A for the accountant. Um, I should probably just use this in actual text instead of hand drawing them. Um, I assume that we want this is our this is our shopping center. Yeah. I think this is gonna be meatballs. Cause that was in the same shopping center, right, Janine? Yeah. I'm gonna do a little thing mm -hmm. far away for the drive in theater. Just yeah. I feel like please. <laughs> it's just the square. Um, what should our in-between store be? What else would be there? Liquor oh, of uh, a what did you say? Liquor store. Oh, that's just what's always right next to a grocery store because they can't sell liquor in it. Duh, is that true in New Jersey? Can't they sell liquor in a lot of grocery stores? Uh, in in the states. In the states, mostly it's no uh, alcohol or. Sometimes you can get beer and wine. It's I think it's town to town. Yeah, I know California. You kind of always creeps me out when I go there. Um, sure. Yeah, like I thought you could get beer and stuff at like a anywhere, like convenience stores and like all kinds it, of places. It depends on the grocery state, right? stores it's in beer New Jersey wine, can't sell alcoholic beverages, so yeah, just beer, just beer and okay. wine. So liquor store. I was gonna say um, dry cleaners. <clears throat> oh, dry cleaners is good, but. We can well, if it's next to the liquor store, it's a wet cleaners. My shut the Ooh. fuck oh. up. <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Allie, when you said dry cleaners, truly my brain immediately went, you can't get liquor from a dry cleaners. <laughs> 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 what what state you're in? Uh, Jay in the chat says you can buy alcohol in a drive thru in Kentucky, let alone grocery stores, which yeah. reminds me of there is a promotion happening here at Tim Hortons where they had Bailey's flavoring in stuff. Yeah, but it wasn't actually Bailey's. It wasn't actually Bailey's, but I, on the like r algorithmic podcast ads they were giving me, they never mentioned that it wasn't alcoholic. So I just, they were getting, getting ads about, <laughs> come get your Bailey's and Tim's from the drive thru. Oh, did, like, did you try it? Did you try one? No, I didn't. I had the the Bailey's cold brew. It wasn't bad. I'm not like I, a Bailey's person, but I like, can't drink Bailey's because high school. And I'll leave it at that. Uh, yeah, I was a good girl, so <laughs> I, I'm okay with it. <laughs> 
good girl no, I, brackets derogatory. I don't mean I've, that. I've, like, I've mixed that some horrible flex. things with Bailey's in my time. <laughs> I'm going to bring back my signature color here and draw my house. Oh, yeah, shit. I got to draw a house. I can't wait until we come back to this game. But potentially, I don't know if we're actually going to do that, so don't hold me to it. Um, and I'm like, what the fuck are all these letters? Because that's going to happen. <laughs> no, we would know. It's clear. We could put a key. Okay. Do you want to put a key? I literally hate it. Um... Uh, a is an accountant. <clears throat> That's the okay. accountant that I had for my character gen thingy. What's DC? That is the dry leader. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm writing us out a little legend. Up. Sorry, I forgot <laughs> to. I live over here by the drive in picture show. I'm going to start using text. Maddie's house. Maddie. Line break house. <clears throat> um, L is the liquor store, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Um, and that M is, that was meatballs? Yes. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got everything that we've done so far written down. I kind of imagine meatballs like a little bit like further off. Oh, Not okay. Like super further off, but like, you know how like sometimes you get like, like a, a big, there's like a mall with like a big parking lot and then in the corner it'll be a restaurant. Oh, oh yeah, I yeah. do know exactly about that. You I know? can fix this. Yeah, I can fix it. Oh, fuck. Roll 20. Oh, I can't. I thought I could. I Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. He's going to do it. Mm. You want me to draw two big circles for you to move? <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't want that to be extra large. Roll 20 really does suck now. It's rough. It's rough. Okay, I'm adding a new road. New road there. I've added my house. Are these zombies in the corner? What am I looking at? I think they're trees, but they're sort of reversed. Okay. Yeah, trees go the other way. I didn't draw these. I think this is a Keith project. Well, the map the map radiates out from the center, so all the all the houses on this side of the street should be like this. Oh. That's how I'm going to build my house. <laughs> oh my okay. Oh, okay. Well, it's facing over here. It's facing the other way. Yeah. I like it. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, no. Uh -huh. I got it. Okay, well, while people do their doodles, I'm going to read the next section. Playing the game. Now that you've characters in a setting, it's time to use them. Transition from creating players to playing the first few seeds can be awkward in GMless games. Uh, but play with the following agenda in mind and things should pick up quickly. Player agenda. Embrace complications. I feel like we have done that. Um, yeah. Create messy webs of relationships. Meddle in other people's problems. Find the pain in funny situations and the humor in serious ones. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to get a little trashy. We have our trashy <laughs> drop here. Um, which, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll use our discretion on that one. Primary I just need to believe that's trashy, like soap opera trash. Sure, yeah. sure, sure, sure. Um, primary and secondary characters. There are technically no non-player characters. If a character appears in a the scene, they're controlled by a player. We know this. We do this. Yeah. We do this. Well, everybody claims an NPC. Um, okay. <clears throat> Thank you, Ethan, for writing that out for people who don't do this right away. Um, playing yeah. scenes. <laughs> Take turns setting scenes. On your turn, um, say where the next scene takes place, who's there, and what's happening when it starts. The scene can focus on your own PC working through, working towards resolving a plot. Or you can earn a token by setting a scene that addresses another PC's plot um, or journal, if this is a multi-session campaign, which I don't think that it will be. Um, if you do this, you can still play your PC in the 
the scene or you can play a secondary character or you can just describe what's going on um, around the characters. Play out the scene until a PC does something risky or challenging or until you're not sure what should happen. At this point, roll dice and find out who gets say and what happens next. And now I'm going to move on to what these dice rolls look like. Um, it is over, easy to overlook small, low stakes actions uh, that should trigger dice rolls, but rolling dice often um, will help you when earning tokens. The action doesn't need to be earth shattering. If it is guaranteed to work, if it isn't guaranteed to work, or either a success or failure or change something in the story, it's worth rolling. All dice rolls work the same way. Roll two six sided dice and add your most relevant trait to the total traits here are goth prep uh nerd jock um <laughs> to choose which trait to add consider which part of your reputation you'll reinforce if you succeed to impress somebody you'll roll prep by default um but if you try to impress them with your trivia knowledge roll plus nerd um <laughs> if you write a sad poem write uh, roll plus goth. If you arm wrestle them, roll plus uh, jock. Um, if the trait you should use isn't obvious, roll jo plus jock for physical, plus nerd for mental, plus prep for social, and plus goth for creative challenges. I love it. <laughs> if your setting includes magical or supernatural elements, roll plus goth to deal with those. Um, fucking go. Uh, uh, when you act against the environment, a secondary character, the laws of physics or anything but another pc um you can change these results with tokens spend a token to raise the result by one tier earn a token um by lowering the result one tier so keep that in mind um 10 or higher you succeed say what happens seven to nine you succeed but other players can suggest a complication choose one of more of their suggestions and use it in the outcome or six or lower the player who's least involved in the scene decides how your action made the situation worse, which rules. Um, when you mm -hmm. act against another PC, 10 or higher, you decide what happens unless your target gives you gives you a token to change the result to a 7 to 9. 7 to 9, you choose, but your target chooses a complication. Um, or 6 or lower, your target decides what happens unless you give them a token to change your result to a higher tier. <clears throat> Um, once the immediate outcome is resolved, the scene ends and the next player takes turns um, setting the next scene. Success doesn't give you unlimited power. When you describe your success, don't describe what other characters do. In no, no God modding tonight. OK, folks. <laughs> OK, yeah. <laughs> Where? Is it God modding or God moding? I've never known. You know, that's really I've interesting. Like I've, yeah, I've never oh. said it out loud. <laughs> Um, but yeah, don't control other players' characters. Uh, that's up to the people playing them. Likewise, um, when you're choosing how an PC's failure made the situation work, they still get to decide how their PC reacts to it. And no matter whose turn it is uh, to set the scene and who has the right of way to decide the outcome, anybody can pause the game if the story is headed somewhere they don't want to go. Any questions there? <clears throat> no. Okay, cool. Does anybody want to read this using token section? Sure. Uh, if you can find my thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, Keith. I beat you to it. It's a guy. I lost my, my page. Oh. Your reputation doesn't really reflect who you really are anymore, if it ever did. People might think you're amazing at something just because you got lucky that one time. They might think you're terrible at something because you used to be, but they don't know about all those online courses you've taken since then. Tokens represent your ability to act against expectations. You start with one token. Whenever you earn or spend a token, answer the question associated with that token use. Earn tokens by complicating things. Earn one token by lowering a dice result by one tier, from a 10 plus to a 7 to 9, or from a 7 to 9 to a 6. Um, you're not as good at this as people think. Why not? Um, earn one token when you take another plot from the list or write your own. <clears throat> Earn one token when you use another PC's plot or journal in a scene. Um, spend one token to raise or uh, spend tokens to change outcomes or traits. Spend one token to raise a dice result by one tier from six to seven to nine or from seven to nine to ten. Uh, people expect you to fail at this. Why are they wrong? If you're acting against another PC, you can only change your role to a seven to nine, not a ten. Give the other player the token instead of returning it to the pile. 
Uh, you can spend one token to shift your reputation on the graph by one square in any direction to a max of two and a min of minimus, uh, minus two. Minimus. Your <laughs> reputation will still add up to zero. Whose opinion of you has changed? Spend one token to raise another player's result by one tier and shift their reputation one square towards the trait they used for the action. Why do you think they can do this? If another player rolls a 10+, plus, you can give them a token to lower it to a 7 and 9. How do you make this harder for them? If they're acting against you, they must take it. Otherwise, it's their choice. Spend three tokens to break the slate. Does somebody else want to read that part? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, breaking the slate. Once per game, when you do something nobody expects, something that reflects what you think you are, whether anyone else believes it or not, you can spend three tokens to add a new trait. There's no list to choose from. You just make something up. The new trait doesn't need to be cute or clever. Don't stress about it or hold up the game while you think of the perfect phrase. Just pick something that describes more or less what you're going for. Say what kind of action it implies to, or say what kind of action it applies to uh, if it's not obvious. It should include the thing you're trying to do, and it can overlap with one of the uh, reputation traits, but shouldn't match any of them exactly. The stat for your new trait is plus two. Roll with it to do the thing. Regardless of the outcome, you keep the new trait and you can use it whenever it applies. All your reputation traits reset to zero. Nobody knows what to expect from you now. Wow. Damn. <laughs> do we need to read the session two and beyond thing? Or are we um, I think we're good. We're probably going to have this be a one shot. So I decided right now was the time that I would create tokens. Yeah. Um, <laughs> except that I don't know how to make tokens editable by everybody. Mm. Um, oh, I forget how to do that. Is it setting in the token itself or is it setting in? I, I feel like uh, it used to be a setting for the token, but now it token layer token layer token layer oh i don't like how that changed how everybody looks or that i can't uh, move this I might step away just for like a brief second run to the bathroom while this yeah is, uh, i i feel like this would be a great break point and we're just gonna put up a break thing and i'm gonna add these tokens to the map and everybody can take a minute to themselves great and then we'll come back and be playing all right be back cool. okay yeah see you all in at Top of the hour. Six BRB. minutes. BRB. Hi, everybody. We're back. I was I was like, you said a hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> early, and I was going to be like, yeah, and that's the time I disemboweled a guy. I was going to do that when we came back, but it didn't get to do it in time. Oh, it's fine. Right. It's fine. The keys to the disemboweler here. It wouldn't uh, have been really oh, sure. It. <laughs> Stealing. Uh, what's the opposite of valor? Disemboweler. No right. I don't know. Disemboweler. <laughs> wow. Sylvie, so, what's the strangest thing you mixed with... with uh, Blue. Gatorade. Oh. Gatorade? Ew. It's what I had. I was Ew. 16. What Why kind wouldn't of you just drink the Bailey's on its own? I yeah. Don't know. I, so I thought that if I mixed Gatorade with the alcohol, I wouldn't feel it afterwards because I'm hydrating at the same time. Oh, sure. But and Bailey's has such a low amount Gatorade, of alcohol. It was you have to drink one. so much Bailey's. <laughs> Did it curl know. the Bailey's? I don't remember. I remembered it tasted bad. Okay. Okay. I have two things to say here, which is that that trick does work if you're drinking whiskey and uh, coconut water. I once went to a speakeasy in Chinatown. <laughs> they had all these fancy drinks and one of them was just fucking whiskey and coconut water and it banged. Um, that does sound pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so do that. And then Sorry, I, the trick where what do you mean the trick works? Well, the, you don't get a hangover. <laughs> where you're like, oh, I'm hydrating while I'm drinking. So now I'm not going to be sick after this. OK, you think that works, right? That works. I just think sometimes people drink without throwing up. <laughs> yeah, <it's just> true. <laughs> well, not throwing up, but waking up dehydrated. Oh, sure. I just drink a lot of water with when I drink. Sure. Well, oh, look at Mr. Responsible here. Yeah. I'm extremely <laughs> responsible. Yeah. 
I think the worst thing that I had was that I was trying to order like a whiskey with lime. Um, because for some reason when I started drinking, that's what I was doing. I was getting whiskey with lime juice. And then the waitress just gave me two different types of whiskeys in like a cocktail glass. And okay. I drank it because I felt like I needed to, you know, because I oh, ordered it. No. Um, and I was, I kept being like, you what the fuck it. is this? <laughs> You ordered a whiskey sidecar, and they were like, okay, whiskey sidecar. So it's a whiskey, and then on the side, another whiskey mm-hmm. in a little sidecar uh-huh. glass. Uh-huh. Um, if she brought you a raw squid, would you have eaten it? Maybe. Uh, um, can everybody try to move these little um, Sims plum bobs and see if you can do that? You should be able to do that. Sims? Plumbob. They're in the f- the formal uh, oh, B see. plot area. Yeah, Ooh, okay. Um, Oops. <laughs> can move. Confirmed. Can move. <laughs> uh, can I delete that? I don't know if I can delete. Okay. 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 Um, and then All instead right. of ha- our A plot section, I've I've created cheat sheet for us, so we now know when we earn our spend tokens. That's Goku's wife. A little. Ra- uh huh. <laughs> She cheat shit the fuck really up. good job. Shut up. Really no, it wasn't. One. Yeah, no, I like that one a lot. <laughs> uh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. I forgot about that from the beginning. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, okay, hi. Why is everybody so- you guys have not earned these tokens, by the way? I just wanted you to see if I you could do that. Do we all start them. with one? Do we wow. all start with one? Yeah. All right, all right, sorry. Sorry, sorry. sorry. I read the thing, I know. Jeez. Yeah, oh, you start with one token. token. Whenever you earn or spend you a token, you have earned <laughs> these tokens. <laughs> yeah. My tokens. Big token that over here. I set up <laughs> for us as a group. <laughs> I thought we were all just getting token hungry over here. No. Um, okay. We've earned these generals. <laughs> these are to me. Okay. Um, I was going to... So I fucked up because I did this roll D10 thing to say that whoever had the highest had to do the first scene and then we would go um, uh-huh. for left to right from there. And not, okay. it was me. So now I have to think <laughs> of a scene, uh, which is too bad. Um, oh. That's too bad for me. But yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wow. roll back up to it's it. funny because you you made up the game, didn't explain the rules, and then <laughs> lost the game. But you could have just lied and said that there was a different game. It's the oh. lowest, and then made me go. We should pause real quick. I think people in the chat are having a problem. What kind of problem? What kind of problem? There's like a loop. Some people say the stream is looping. Those people, people should refresh. A horrifying it. three second <laughs> laugh loop. Oh my God. I think I have a nice laugh. Okay, we have people saying it's working. Okay. Mine, yeah, mine just works. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure this wasn't. Twitch. I'm actually step disappointed. One, step yeah, one for too. Twitch is every time like a reconnection happens, just refresh because something always breaks or the video doesn't come back. And <clears> it's <throat> always best. I did, I did not know this about. I did not know about this. Yeah. It's sponsored by Roll20. On your turn, say where the next scene takes place, who's there, and what's happening when it starts. The scene you can focus on your PC working towards resolving your plot, or you can earn a token by setting the scene that addresses a, another PC's plot. Interesting. Okay. Denise owes me money, but paid me with a scratch off instead. Hmm. Well, this doesn't have to be anything crazy. We're setting the scene here. We're probably in Mosier's Grocers. Yeah. Mosier's Grocers. Wow. Mosier's Grocers. Mosier's Grocers. Mosier's Grocers. Okay, we're in Mosier's Grocers. Um, maybe it's like a. Maybe this is like a, like a nine p.m. Stores closing in an hour. Summer and a half warm summer night situation. Warm summer night. Oh, I want okay, summer. warm summer night. This game feels summer to me. Mm-hmm. I night. need summer just because it's winter real life. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, true. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe. Hmm. Um, 
owes me money, but pay me with a scratch off. It's, I feel like what I could be doing in the scene is like going to be like, hey, I'd like to exchange a scratch off. But for some reason, maybe it's like, oh, it's like a time based thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how scratch offs work. That's so. fine. It can work like that here. They, they, huh? they can, they do expire, by the way. I did well, one time tried to return like a four month old uh, scratch off that I had forgotten about um, mm. because it's not part of my routine. Mm -hmm. And they were like, this is expired. It was like 50 bucks, too. Whoa. Whoa. I was thinking the I think other I had, like, way. A year here or something. Whoa. I'm wrong. Um, yeah, that's I guess it depends on the company. Maybe the maybe the scratch off reading machine is broken. Oh, that's a good contrivance <laughs> to keep it from happening. Yeah. I know I fuck with it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to Eddie or whoever's at the Yo. lottery counter. Remember, I did something horrible to you. I know, and you've never successfully apologized. And you can't even avoid me now. Do you want to know? Can, should we define what the horrible thing is? Because I feel like otherwise it's it's like maybe too open to interpretation. <laughs> sure, <laughs> it's like kind of menacing in a way that's like <laughs> awful. Uh, what did what terrible thing did you do to me? Um. So I think we dated in high school, <gasps> and um. Not only did I break up with you over text, Whoa. I actually broke up. I was breaking up with two people at the same time, and I got you mixed up. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Sitcom classic. <laughs> Archie Andrews moment. Wow. Wow. Uh -huh. <clears throat> that hey. text was supposed to go to Veronica, but I sent it to <laughs> That's the kind of guy Eddie is. One goth, one jock. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> hey, Eddie. Maddie, hi. What can I do you for? Um, I have a scratch off ticket. Oh. Um, okay. Can you, like, come back tomorrow? I'm not working tomorrow. The thing's... Okay, well, you live, like, right down the street. Whatever. I'm um, not coming here when I'm not working. All right. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> the machine's not working. What? Yeah, the machine's not. It's, like, I don't know. It keeps, like, giving weird errors. Um, did you put in a... Did you put in a... Um... A repair request because I don't. I feel like I didn't remember seeing one in the system, and people are going to come in here with their scratch offs. This is a scratch off the hour. Night, the, yeah, the the. I was going to say the night guy, but I was like, they don't sell lottery tickets at night. <laughs> I guess they must. They like send for hour. Yeah. I yeah, guess the 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 night lottery guy said he did it. So I just had. I'm, I mean, I guess maybe he didn't. Maybe he's just fucking me over. That happens. Do you want me to, like, do another one or something? Or was that, is that worse if there's two in there? Oh, it's worse if there's two in there. I really need this money. Um, Don't we all? I, I, I can't. <sighs> I'm not the state. I can't sign that one myself. I got to check with the thing. Oh, you're not the state. Sure. No. <laughs> um, not yet. Wink. Mm hmm. Okay. Well, what if, what if, what if, um, you scanned a different card, one that is like $5 or whatever, and then the register opened, and then you gave me the number that's on this ticket, and then later we just, we scan it when it works. You know what I mean? No, that doesn't make any sense to me, Maddie. I have no idea what you're talking. Are you telling me to steal? I'm not telling you to steal. I'm telling you, you to, to steal let for me you? borrow this money because I'm being inconvenienced. What if I was a customer? I could be a customer right now. How I'm... am I even going to know how much money is for? 
because it says, look at the scratch off. It says, it no, says the when code tells you. No, you but know, the, I've, the I've see, see I, I have three strawberries and I have the times two multiplier and the strawberries yeah, mean $500 and the plus two uh, multiplier means that it's a thousand dollars. And I kind of really thought that I would go home tonight with a thousand dollars. Maddie, 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 Maddie. You know how this works. You know how this works. You could have put that strawberry. You could have drawn that strawberry on. Does this you look drawn? I know you love your scrapbooking. You could have scrapbooked that up. And Does this I, the look... only way I know is if I scan in the code. <laughs> I'm asking in the chat genuinely. I didn't want to throw off the Yeah, the that roll 20. Playing. L- noise was so fucking loud. That's oh, I'm so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's the loudest to... roll twenty I've ever heard. Shit, my bad. It's all good, but I'm just wondering what happened to my roll twenty. And I'm gonna turn off background chat. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening to roll twenty? The UI doesn't work anymore. They base boosted all their chat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when you chat, it makes a TikTok fuck noise. Oh no. I hate that with that voice on Keith. I hate that a lot. Take it up with roll 20. Yeah, you're right. Um, Anyway, I was asking in the chat if you guys should roll dice against each other. I feel like Um, that's that's maybe Maybe that's the way to go here. Let's look at those rules again. And if Maddie wins, I illegally give her money. Well, you open no, up the you open the drawer. Okay. You just open the drawer up. You put the. Does, w- is there a thousand dollars of cash in our in our checkouts? If you're if you're the lottery counter. I don't, I don't know. know if that's how that works. <laughs> I don't know if that's how that works. <laughs> Does that work? Because then why wouldn't you rob the lottery counter all of the time? Well, that's why they go to... Conven- they, people rob convenience stores all the time. Uh, that's mostly where people yeah, buy. Yeah, but they don't keep a million right. dollars there for when you win the lottery. <laughs> no, well, that's different. Those get those yeah. get sent to the, um, the state. Yeah. I feel like when I... this was, I mean, this was... I worked in an electronic store, so we were doing large cash transactions. But I feel like your safe has ten thousand. Okay, so hang on. This is okay. (laughs) I looked up how this works in Ontario, which is not really relevant to Jersey. Everything's a little bit wilder there. But in Ontario, it says some retailers have the option to pay up to $999.90. $999.90. Holy If fuck, they wait. have the cash available. That makes to claim it so lottery much prizes better. from 1000 to under 10000 <laughs> you can take advantage of OLG's mail in claim process. <laughs> well, I think that you gotta. I think that. I think that maybe. This is New Atlantic Jersey City. Might. This is a gambling town. They definitely have a two thousand dollar limit true, or whatever. True, <laughs> <laughs> oh, also, the done to that every lottery re- to retailer can pay up to and including fifty dollars, and then some have the option to pay sure, up to nine hundred ninety nine dollars and ninety cents. Yeah. Um... Why is it nine hundred ninety nine hundred ninety nine ninety cents and not ninety nine cents? Oh, you do not want to be in the dreaded no uh, man's because land we don't of nine hundred ninety nine and ninety. And <laughs> oh fuck, you're right. But then it could be ninety five. Yeah, but that's way less satisfying. I feel like. Yes. I don't know. Anyway, why don't you just give me fifty dollars, which I know you can ring up, and then you put the scratch off ticket in the register, which will be sealed with the rest of the money and then when the machine works you scan it you see that it has a thousand dollars and then when that happens the manager gives me the money minus fifty dollars oh, god jesus christ right yes hey maddie i don't want to get fired <laughs> this is all i got right now i'm not getting fired so you can have 50 bucks you're cute but you're not that cute fucking hell if my ex said that to me <laughs> When you act against another PC. <laughs> Wait, what's the... we uh-huh. r- two, 
two six sided dice. We do this all the time. Yeah. Roll two d six. I'm rolling it against you, right? Or I I would say, yeah, this felt like you're trying to convince Janine's character, Mm -hmm. Eddie. Yes, I'm rolling, and then okay, one. Stat is this? Huh? Oh, what stat is this? Prep. Like, is this nerdy? Is this jockey? Yeah, prep was social, right? Yeah, this feels like social stuff. Especially with the way you've been like trying to be like, just do this and then it'll work out like this. That yeah, that, yeah. that feels right. Um two D six minus one for me. And then two D six plus one, one for me, yeah. Okay. Three, right. two, one. We both got nice. <laughs> huh. So uh, then what happens? I feel like only one of us should have rolled. Yeah, but I thought that only the oh, that, person who's seen like... it is rolls. I think, yeah, I think it's only oh, okay. Allie. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Oh, so... okay. Sorry, sorry. It's. I thought it yeah, the way you is... could intercede okay. is with tokens, I think. But... Oh, yeah, there are... okay. That's my bad. <laughs> there, are different, there are different rules for acting against another PC, but I, I don't think it adds a die. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Ignore that. Okay. This is a seven through nine. You succeed, but your target chooses a complication. Yes. And then mm. you can spend a token to make me get a failure, a six or lower. Um, or I can earn a token by willingly getting a six or not, uh, or lower. So. Uh, I, mm, I need collateral. You could fuck me on this. You know? <sighs> the lottery ticket. I don't think you would fuck with me, but it's it's a lottery ticket. I can't do shit with it. It's a lottery ticket that's going to be. And if the boss comes in, the big boss comes in and says, hey, why are you missing 50 out of your till? I can't just wave a lottery ticket and be like, I'm good for it. I'm on it. Honestly, I just look. It doesn't work like that. You know, it doesn't work like that. So you'd feel better if you had my watch. That's what you're saying. That's what may, would make you feel comfortable with this? Mm, not, a, not like a chick watch. Like something else. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> this watch is a lot of money. I got it from Cash for Coats. And I really like it. And it works. And you can see that there's a bunch of jewels on the bezel. Um, and I'm giving you this as collateral. I'm sorry that it's girly. Yeah, all right. <laughs> 50 um, fucking dollars. Uh, once the immediate outcome is resolved, <laughs> the scene ends. The next player takes a turn setting the scene. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Sylvie's turn. Oh, shit. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> um, uh, no, it's fine. Um, Left to right. <clears throat> oh, man. You know... Uh, I don't know why my brain misinterpreted that as the opposite. Um, <laughs> I'm going to, I'm just going to write down a way that we can use our journal sections now is write the outcomes of our individual scenes. Mm. So when we do come back to this, we can be like, oh, that's what happened last in my last scene. Mm-hmm. Okay. I feel like, um, I got an idea for a scene with 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 my buddy Nate. Uh, maybe it's when we, we start talking about this ritual situation. Um, I had the idea where like I pick you up on the way to work because of the way the map is laid out, where sure. like I have to drive down that way, um, and. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the way that I pick you up from work, I don't necessarily go up and like I not I I honk the horn outside. I don't go up and like <laughs> just like how I I was like I'm not you don't knock like the on morning my door or text me. I mean, I'll text you. Yeah, that's a good point. But <laughs> I'll do both because I think if Where this annoys you, you I'm gonna you do work it. In the bakery, right? Yeah, that's so early to be honking the horn. <laughs> that's why you think I'm doing it? Because I'm cranky that I'm getting up so early. <laughs> That's the horn. 
That's that doesn't sound like any. Nah, sound it's a, just cute. a goose. What is that? What is it? That. So that's I a mean, goose. That's a horn. That's the horn of a car. My my car. I need to replace it. It's an old car. <laughs> <laughs> I just picked an an annoying sound that would be shitty to hear at four thirty in the morning. Yeah, when I picked Baker, I was more just like, oh, yeah, I love when women are bakers. Not, oh, man, she's got to get up so early for this job. <laughs> yeah. Um, so you're the, the afternoon breaks. baker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I come in just to sell all the bakery goods that someone else baked early. And also set up the yeasts that yeah, have to rise. Yeah, they all got to do. <laughs> <laughs> the yeasts. Do. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> gotta do a little yeast inspection. <laughs> <laughs> you mix up the doughs and they rise overnight for the 3 a.m. people. Uh-huh. Yeah, sorry. The, yeah. Yeah, the the layman might say you need to feed your starter, but we know it in the industry as you've got to set up your yeasts. Yeah, yeah. You've got to plant a gun on them. You got to uh-huh. um, put their fingerprints. Yeah. Not everything sourdough. We can have a nice um, active, right, nice active pool-ish. yeast. You can have a poolish. <laughs> um, I made bread today. Proofing. Proofing. Right, I come, I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Finally. Come on. <laughs> oh, we have flat again. Oh, did we go offline again? Uh, we seem online to we me. Seem fine to me. Oh, it looked offline to me for a second there. We're back. Okay, okay sorry for interrupting. People go say ahead. No. Okay. Um Hurry up, Zane's gonna give me shit if I'm late again, even though he's not even in this morning. He just knows. He just always knows. Yeah. Well, it's you punch in. Okay, technicality. Like whatever. Um This is like a uh um I know I described Joey Trevino's uh Civic as being a shitty car um that has go I also drive a shitty car, which I think is why. Um, I think it adds some hypocrisy to it that I enjoy. Mm. Uh, anyway, we've got just like I'm playing like Slipknot on my fucking stereo when you get in, being That's like, "Hey, cool. what's that?" Uh, um, you know what? I think the way to get in the conversation is mm-hmm. where it's just like, um, "Hey, I got that book on demonology you wanted from the library." Good, nice. What are you? Library. What are you doing? With, with, wait, what was that about the library? I hate the library. Okay, I kind of just assumed you didn't have a card, man. I don't have a card. Well, yeah, but like I figured you didn't hate the library. Like I didn't realize it was like an ideological thing. Right. If I had, if I want to do it, I just get a card. They give cards for to everyone for free. I know. I know that, man. I just. <laughs> What I was saying is I didn't realize that the core of you not having a card was hatred for the written word. It's not for the written word. It's Cunningham. Remember Cunningham? Yeah, no, I we went to school together, of course. But you and I went to school together. I didn't go Right. To school that's why her. I say like remember Cunningham. Yeah, I remember Cunningham. We, I know that you it was a rhetorical question. Okay. Cunningham yeah. went to the library. And you're, and you're still mad about her for giving you detention for setting off firecrackers uh, in the bathroom? Like, or what? As if. That was pretty good, by the way. Yeah. Cunningham's a vampire now. <laughs> Do you know that um, there's a look in True Detective that Woody Harrelson gives to um, Matthew McConaughey? Where after he says, like, stop saying weird shit. And then he just <laughs> gives him, like, a really weird look. That's the look that I'm giving. You're, it's like... Yeah, like you know, yeah. for eighteen months you got like for eighteen months. Yeah. Why? How did? Okay, I need to know how you got that figure, um, <laughs> that time frame. Like, I really, I'm so curious, Nate. Because nineteen months ago, she was bit by a vampire, and it takes one month to transform. Fuck, of course. Why didn't I think of that? So, and who's the vampire who bit her? Uh, the gas station guy. You know, the gas station guy that's a vampire? From yeah. next door to work. No, I know who you're talking about. I just, the vampire thing is... 
you think you know somebody is i guess is what i'm saying i didn't really put that together oh you didn't know that that guy was a vampire don't go around yeah, asking people if they're vampires you don't have to ask you just know you just look and you're like and you know people talk i'm not yeah. crazy <laughs> so <laughs> okay so now we've covered why you're you're not you didn't want to go to the library vampires bad vibes totally yeah. understandable um the book about the rituals and the demons yeah. and such. Yeah. This is connected, I'm assuming. Proof. I gotta get proof. You gotta get. You're an interesting critter, bro. Uh, I've always said that, but today more than ever, I really mean it. <laughs> I just have to what? pause because yeah. Sylvia has said that to Keith in real life. Yeah, That's I know. something Keith actually said. That's true. Said. <laughs> I say that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? It's one of my, I think I just said it to you on like a, a recording or something. Yeah. Just, uh, you're an interesting critter, bro. It's from like a. It's like a. It's here. I found the original. It's it's a Snapchat conversation between two people. It's you're the only dude I know who enjoys milk as a refreshment. Man, so what? An interesting critter, bro. <laughs> So uh, I'm pretty sure just, that that's yeah. from uh, uh, Buff Zoo number two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you remember when we used to do uh, the wood games and we would, you know, throw bolts and cast spells and stuff? Oh, hell yeah, I do. That shit was great. I uh, I still got the weird scar on my shoulder from when you, the uh, we got in that sword fight with yeah. those um you know the fallen down tree branches i think all that stuff was real <laughs> i'm giving the luck again yeah i think what? we were doing real magic you think we would do it and i think we can do it again who okay and like hypothetically here um Fuck it. Watch where you're driving. Just to remind everyone that she's driving. Someone cut her off. <laughs> annoying. Um, that was on you. You. Oh, shut up, man. Um, I'm busy discover. I'm. I just discovered that I was doing magic as a 12 year old. Okay, like, give me a minute. Uh, no excuse not to put on your blinker. <sighs> anyway, why do you want to us to do commit to the dark arts? Once again, uh, yeah, I've been out of the game for a while now. <laughs> because of the because they're because we're living in a town with vampires. But like, I okay. <laughs> now, like, say for a second, just like, just like, hear me out. Say, we do have vampires here. Um, who are they? Vampires tend to suck people. The blood, yeah. I mean. <laughs> and right. I don't think... Have there been many exsanguinations in the county recently? They're covering Have you, like, up. been keeping on top of things for this one? I've been trying to keep on top of it, but they won't release the papers or the police reports. Uh, censorship. Yeah. They're, they don't want you to know the truth, huh? Okay, I can hear the sarcasm, but sorry, it's sorry. literally what I'm saying. Yes, uh, they bad, don't yeah. want me to know the truth. It's a lot to process. It's a lot to process. But I think... So how do we... How do we go about this? Uh, we need to test out the spell and make sure that it works. And we need to put it to practical use. I just... We're not going to have to, like, sacrifice a goat or anything, right? Because, like, I already got enough weird lucks at work. No. If we were sacrifice, that's if you want to do demon shit, not stop demon shit. Okay. Okay. No. I, as much as this, I, the problem is your lo the, lo the logic within this world that you're laying out does make sense to me. <laughs> the world um, I'm laying out is the world that we're living in. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. Uh... Fine, okay. Woods again? Yeah, woods again. Okay. Um, 
I'm off tomorrow. I guess we could do it. Then. I'm on tomorrow. Fuck. Okay. I'm off the next day. <laughs> I'm opening the next day, but if you don't mind me being kind of sleepy for the ritual, we could probably do it after work. It's dangerous, but it is probably fine. It's that or wait till the weekend, man, and it's Monday today. So like, okay, well then Wednesday. Dice yeah, roll. Okay. Scheduling. Scheduling dice roll. Scheduling dice roll. <laughs> do we want to take this as an as an opportunity to insert something? What do they? How do they describe it in the book? Um, um, risky or. I don't know. I lost my. I keep losing my. Um, that your place in the the. By, no, I keep closing the book. For oh, no reason. Okay, that's a very different problem. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I read something and then I'm like okay I'm done and then I. <laughs> just so it, we which... have something to roll that isn't because we can just agree because this is not a conflict we agree. Yeah, this isn't a conflict, but. Mm -hmm. um... Yeah, I guess you, you can keep playing out the scene until you have an opportunity to act against the environment, secondary character, laws of physics, or anything but another PC. Um, okay, how about uh, I try to convince you to skip on uh, Wednesday so that you are refreshed. And you okay. want... Yeah. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, what... I'm not sure which this might be goth. You might be rolling goth on this one with you're, the you're rolling. It's your scene. Oh, I'm rolling it. Oh, okay, so you're trying to convince me. Okay, I'm, yeah. okay. So, oh shit, what would I? It could be prep because it's. It social. might be prep because I'm trying to also if if I'm rolling against you trying to get yeah. me to skip work, it would be because it's not to accomplish the the art. Although. Yeah, and, and also you're trying to resist skipping work, which is not yeah. Really goth. I think I think you were right. I think this is a prep wow. roll. I know, crazy. Yeah. And also, well, we'll I rolled a two. The, yeah. We'll see the character come. Damn, back. you're skipping work. Wow. The player who. So uh, oh wait, no. It's your target decides what happens unless you give them a token to change the result to a seven, a nine. I believe is how this is working. Or are we not? Or is this? Uh, yeah, this was a PC thing, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Where the hell is the link to this? Thing? I'm like <laughs> totally. I'm like look, like scrolling through everything. It's in rolling the dice, page fourteen. No, sorry. The here it is. The link. I got confused by the uh, the like the WhatsApp screenshot. <laughs> I couldn't find the. Yeah, link sorry. That's okay. That's okay. I just needed the the, you know, for okay. Target decides what would happen. Yeah, sure. Okay, so uh, uh, I decide. That you're skipping work and we're going to meet at 3 p.m. Well rested on on two on when uh, yeah Wednesday. Yeah, I like it sounds good. I feel like I'm already on thin ice at work, so um, just say someone died. They can't I'm ask out you of who. grandparents, dude. They can't I, ask you who. You shouldn't have ever said what grandparent. Okay, I'll. If they ask, I'll say it was an uncle. They can't <laughs> ask. Don't tell them. They ask the like they. I know they can't like legally, but they're still gonna. It's a small town, dude. Say you can't ask that. All right, I'll. Don't tell them they can't ask that. I think that's scene. I feel like that last bit <laughs> took place with them after they got out of uh, her car in the parking lot. Um, Perfecto. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, to my journal. Uh, for my scene, uh, Nathaniel, where would you be like... Allie, when do you think Maddie and Eddie were talking? Um, I set that up as like a 9 p.m. Like an hour and a half before closing. Okay, okay. So then, right, early morning and then... All right, so where would Nathaniel be like around lunch break time? 
Um, uh, eaten lunch at the little table that they, they have like, you know, six tables for people who got the self-serve salad bar and hot bar food. Hell yeah. All right. Um, Eddie has been thinking a little, has been <laughs> thinking about this tick a little bit. Um, and has put some things together. I imagine when Nathaniel realized the ticket was missing, uh, he would bring it. He would bring that up to the lottery counter and be like, "Hey, help!" Mm -hmm. um, so I think Eddie has put two and two together. Goes to spots. Actually, I bet the, I bet you can see the salad eating tables from the lottery counter. Yeah, I think he like pulls up a he like like literally, literally grabs a chair from under the table and swings around and sits backwards on it because he is that guy. Um yo, cool. uh bro, hey. Hey, cool small watch. Oh, and he pulls his sleeve down. Um, You're wearing it. <laughs> he decided I'm wearing it. And I'm not gonna say no. I'm gonna say yes and okay. <laughs> That's the game. Uh, <laughs> hey, so you, do you remember you were like riding me about that lottery ticket that you yeah. lost? Yep. You got any more like it, like where do you know where you lost it? Or like any like identifying marks on it? Maybe. So you've heard. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I mean, you told me you lost. You were, like, upset yesterday. You were crying, remember? Yeah, I was upset. I was crying. I don't remember that whole afternoon. Tell me what you've heard about the marks, identifying marks. No, I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm not right. going to tell you about the marks, because then you'll just say, oh, it's those marks. No, I mean, what have you I'm heard? Not stupid. What have you heard about the marks? Nothing. I'm just asking oh. if the corner was bent. Oh, yeah, it was in my pocket. Um, so it was kind of crumpled, but it wasn't. Your pocket? Okay. Your pocket, like, smell like anything identifiable? Like gum or cigarettes? Oh, I keep, um, I keep, I keep original flavor beef jerky in there in a little pouch sometimes. It, was it ever in there with? The pants, the pants you're wearing. Did you ever have ever have the lottery ticket in the pocket, and then also jerky well, in the same pocket before washing? I don't wash jeans, but yeah. So okay, yeah. you like freeze them? You do freezer stuff? I do. Yeah, I do freezer just, stuff. No. Okay. Cool. That's that's cool. Yeah, um, it's better for him. You know. Yeah. Bro fist. Um. Oh, okay, white gold. So might smell. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Uh, all right, I'll be I'll be back in a second. <laughs> and Eddie gets up and he walks around. I think behind one of those like bars with all the bean salads. Yeah. Um, and pasta salads, and pulls the lottery ticket out and gives us the mayo bar. Yeah, Sorry. the mayo bar. Uh, I think the ticket. I mean, I guess the ticket would have to smell a little bit like beef, right? Yep. <laughs> Sure <laughs> Eddie heads back. Uh, all right, listen, man. Um, I don't, I don't know what to do about this one. Uh, it's not a great situation. You know, I got a little bit of uh, baggage uh, with Maddie. Um, yeah. A little bit like a lot of baggage with Maddie. Right. Like a, I don't know, she didn't like me. Like a place that sells fine. baggage. She like me, though. Baggage. Yeah, yeah. Like a like a plane. Like you say with Maddie, you could have just stopped there. Plane. You just have baggage. Whoa. You don't know my life. That's part of the baggage. What it, mm. is that I do? You, whatever. Listen. You didn't hear this from me. And I don't know how to resolve this. This, is good. this might have to be a thing between you two. I don't, I don't hands off from me. You know what I mean? Uh, I think Maddie might have had your ticket. Uh, and 
I couldn't cash it in because the machine's all fucked up, which, by the way, I got eyes on you if that was you, because that's not cool. I don't touch um, that stuff. They don't let me near it. I, you got free time as much as anyone else. I don't know what you do, what you get up to. Uh, I don't know what kind of deals you got going on with uh, Steve, um, the night guy. Uh, listen, um, you sorted out with Maddie. Okay. You let me know what you come to, uh, agreement wise. Um, Wait, so you have my ticket? I'm not saying nothing about the hat. I'm just saying. Is that you it? You gotta talk to Maddie and sort some stuff out. Uh, I don't want to be the middleman here. I don't want to be caught in the crossfire. You know, I just, I'm just, I don't even want to mediate. I'm just like a neutral third party. You know? Look, this is. You're in the middle. I'm, I'm take, but I'm taking a step back. I'm off the field. There's like a line on the grass and I'm behind the line on the grass. If you have a lottery ticket that smells like beef. <laughs> I didn't say I did. Did I say I did? I didn't say I did. <laughs> you really are. You're heavily implying that you did. I don't fuck, I don't have shit to say to you about that. I'm pleading the fifth. Okay. I'll talk to Maddie. And don't worry about that Mark stuff. Who? Good. What? There you go. Who fucks Mark? That's all I'm asking. Okay. I'm taking another token because I did a scene with someone else's plot. Oh, great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gaming. Um, Gaming. Does this scene have to have a role, or can this just be a scene? I think it could just be a scene. Okay. My is my understanding, but I might be wrong. Please correct me if so. Well, but, I the I guess we could naturally decide that a scene is over, but it it sort of it does the fiasco thing where right where it's like find a place where there's a conflict in the scene and then roll for it and then the scene ends. I think the mm. conflict is that you're choosing to not give me the lottery ticket that I want. So I think you've got to roll to not give me the ticket. So there is a thing. Let's see. It's easy to overlook small, low stakes actions that could trigger dice, should trigger dice rolls. But rolling dice often will help you earn tokens. The action doesn't have to be earth shattering. If it isn't guaranteed to work and either a success or failure will change something in the story, it's worth rolling. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'm so torn, actually, um, <laughs> on what the actual role here should be, because I don't want to close this off too abrupt, like too quickly. Um, right. I think that's I've not got something super interesting. I, can, I think I can change it a little bit, which is um, I've already noticed this watch. Maybe you give me. Maddie's. <laughs> oh my god. Collateral. Wow. And that's what the role is to get is for you to give me the collateral so that now I'm the one that has the right. watch. I like that. That's good. Um I don't know if this is social. I guess it kind of is, but it also kind of feels like two gorillas squaring up. <laughs> 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 um we're the we're the only two characters on the go, on the jock spectrum, so yeah. <laughs> I I also do feel like this could potentially come to blows. I don't know though. I again, I'll hear out anyone who thinks it should be rolled some other way. Um, um. no, I don't think. I think that I I I feel like jock is sort of fine. Just, There's like, like such a, a lot like of posturing chess... going on. Yeah, right? yeah, it's, like... it's a very like chest puffed out kind of conversation. Yeah, like they think they're being kind I'm of like chill. subtle I'm and like <laughs> cool about it, but like it is. I, I feel like it is like a. I don't know. It has that energy to me. That's all I can. That's the only way I can explain it. Uh, okay. Ten. Ooh. Ooh. Um, when you act against another, 
uh, PC, 10 or higher, you decide what happens unless the target gives you a token to change the result to a 7 to 9. What do you think, Keith? Uh, a token to change it to 7 to 9? No, I'm going to keep my token, and I'm going to get my lottery back, my lottery ticket back some other way. Well, I don't need right. your watch. It's too small. Yeah, didn't even want tiny. your stupid tiny watch. I didn't watch. want your stupid tiny watch. My hair keeps getting caught in the little links. It's all... Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't, don't want to lose it, though. Yeah. Anyway, you. Yeah, you. Get back to me. Text me or whatever. Sure. Uh, all right, my turn. Mm-hmm. Um. Hmm. I think that I'm going to immediately, I'm going to follow up on this with Maddie now. A thousand bucks work. would certainly help you with a ritual. A thousand bucks would certainly help me with a ritual. And I, I feel like I'm at work. I just did a scene where I was getting to work, so I shouldn't leave work immediately to go deliver a Goku car. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm headed over to uh I guess uh I I maybe you're I, do you hang out at the customer service thing where you can go if you have a couple items but really you're supposed to not go there to check out? Oh, that makes that sense. Holder hangs out. Yeah, I bet that makes sense because I would be the person like giving change to other cashiers yeah. and stuff and yeah. yeah. I'm sure you do shifts on the on the on the uh the register, mm -hmm. but or on the real register, mm -hmm. but uh, Maddie, Nate, how's it going? It's going. Did you watch The Office last night? <laughs> uh, no, my mind's been elsewhere. <laughs> Wait. Oh, your mind. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious. What do you need? That's awesome. Um, <laughs> how's your luck been? My luck? Pretty bad, actually. That's so funny because I was talking to Eddie, and Eddie said that you won yeah, big. Yeah, you, you motherfucker. <laughs> Eddie told you that I won a big? Yeah, Eddie told me that you won big. You won a thousand dollars. Isn't that crazy? Oh I didn't win a thousand dollars. Oh, you didn't win a thousand dollars, but you had a thousand dollar lottery ticket. <laughs> yeah, because how does that happen? How do you win a thousand dollars? How do you not win a thousand dollars but have a thousand dollar lottery ticket? Because I found a mid century TV stand at a estate sale and then uh -huh. i refurbished it and i sold it on facebook marketplace and this person texted me over and over again i'm coming through i have your money i reserve it for me and then they came through and then they didn't even have cash and it was such a headache and i wanted the fucking tv stand out of my garage so i took a lottery ticket does that sound like winning to you uh, what it sounds like is I won a thousand dollar lottery ticket and didn't cash one in, and you didn't win a thousand dollar lottery ticket but did cash one in. That's what it sounds like to me. There's a lot of a lot of lottery tickets in this town. No, there is not. There literally Weird. is. What are you talking about? You saying we won? There's multiple. There's there's two plus thousand dollar lottery winners running around. Yes. I full. I just do not believe you. <laughs> okay. I just don't believe that. I do you want to do you want to see the the text that I had with this person on Facebook Marketplace? It's all right here. Look at this. Look, Fine. look at this. I sanded it down and then I applied a nice beige coat of paint um, and I changed the knobs and I sold I it for a thousand dollars. 
I think it. Well, I think you painted over a really nice Jesus dresser. Christ. What? You're like all the fucking people. My fucking Instagram comics. It's what people like beige is in now. Okay. Why did you come here? What was beige? It started <laughs> beige. <laughs> <clears throat> this is inspired. I, I just, yeah, they, they, I do just want to say, wow. 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 Hey, I gotta step up. <laughs> it's so real, you know? It's <laughs> Why are you showing me pictures of the dresser and not the conversation? I thought you would be nice about it. Anyway, yeah, see, it's Denise. Who I think might be in league with your boy Eddie, if you're listening to Eddie, and Eddie's running around talking about lottery tickets. It was your lot you? It was your ticket. I mean, you brought the ticket. Oh, yeah, it is my ticket because it was given to me as a transaction for a service that I did. Yeah. Okay. What is, how do I get, how do I get in contact with Denise? There is an By open. By the way, it's, sorry, no, go. I, you could text. You want to take my phone? Sure. <laughs> as, you mean it like as collateral? No. I'm, oh my God, Jesus Christ. Okay. I'll text them for you. Hello. I have a question. To me, oh, I'm. I, I forgot I was Denise. <laughs> <laughs> Should I roll to see if Denise responds? What are we doing with Denise here? Do you want to step in as Denise and then? That's a great question. Let's figure. I will. I will play Denise in whatever capacity we want her played. Okay. Um, when you play against the environment, a secondary player character, or the laws of physics, or anything but another PC. Okay, okay, they're typing. What do you want me to ask? What do, you, what do I have to do with this? I don't know. I don't even know what I have to do with it. I don't know, Denise. Oh, my God. What are you here for? What do you let want me from let me? Let me call. Let me call. Let okay, me call. Okay. Put it on speaker. You okay. call and then put it on speaker. Okay, okay, okay. Let hi, me... hi. Sorry, we'll be right with you. <laughs> <laughs> Bring. Bring. Uh, Denise Villarreal speaking. Hi, it's Maddie, you know, from Facebook. Not who? It's Maddie. I sold you a mid-century TV stand through Facebook Marketplace. Oh, right. The little beige table. Uh-huh. The li yeah, the table. Um, hi. I, um... It's such a nice table. I, um... I like put a little pad, like a like a pillow, but like a flat pillow, um, and I let my cats go on there because they like to be by my desk. They like to come up on my desk, but they shouldn't be on the desk. So I have a little t the table thing for them with the. <laughs> I'm staring. And then they could come up and sit, and then they could be close to me, which they seem to really like. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the background. <laughs> <clears throat> Say hi to Maddie. Say hi to Maddie. Hi. <laughs> I was. Say thank you. Say thank you, Maddie. It's, it's barfing. <laughs> 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 the German cat vomiting sound. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> uh, ask about the lottery ticket. Anyway, is that everything, Maddie? Well, I just wanted to check with you um, about the lottery ticket that you gave me. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I just, um, I had some trouble uh, exchanging it for cash, you know, for money that you pay people for stuff. And oh, dear. Yeah. And that, Why? It seemed, I thought it was a real ticket. You thought it was a real ticket. Where did you buy yeah. it from? Well, it was just stuck to the bottom of my purse when I got home the other day. 
it was stuck. And to- I was like, oh, wow, I, it's a winning ticket. I, what a lucky, so lucky, you know, I've been so lucky recently. Uh, I just thought it was more luck. Maybe it was a fake ticket, but then why would they just leave? No, it's a real ticket and it's my real ticket. Who's that? <laughs> Who are- Maddie, Does really? it- who's, who's there with you? It's fine, say um, this is my friend Nate, um, who, funny enough, seems to have um, re- misplaced a lottery ticket recently. Um, Nate. Why do I know that name, Nate? Nate. Oh, is that, is that that little month boy? Mini month, we used to call him. Is that him? What's he up to? How are you doing, Nate? I haven't talked to you in so long. I don't know who you are. Yes, that is me. That's Remember weird. That Halloween where you came by and you had the little you had the little cat ears on and the apron. We didn't know what you were, but you were having so much fun. Chef Cat. <laughs> <laughs> right, Chef Cat. That was so good. Uh, I don't. Anyway, yeah, I don't know how you got my ticket, day. but it's my ticket, and everything's bad because I need that money. Well, I don't know what to tell you. It was just stuck on the bottom of my purse. From Are you where? sure it's the same ticket? I don't know. I got. Okay. I was running did some errands and to, I came home. Did you happen to smell the ticket at all? <laughs> Why would I smell a lottery ticket, Nate? That doesn't make any sense, honey. I don't know why you would or wouldn't, but I thought maybe we could do like a three, two, one and say what it smelled like at the same time. Okay. But if, if you, that would make you feel better. Do, but do you know? Okay, <laughs> we'll do it. <laughs> and, but if this doesn't work, I don't want it to reflect poorly on me because mm-hmm. it seems like maybe you didn't smell it. And I, so, but okay. I, whatever it takes. All whatever right. Three, feel better. three, Two, one, beef. Cat food. What? You didn't say it until after I said. <laughs> <laughs> we were supposed to do it. And, and though I will say cat food is pretty close to beef. I don't know. I didn't know what they put in that stuff. Beef jerky. They put, I get the I'll tell you what they put little in babies, it. They little babies, and they, they, they don't beef really tell it. you the ingredients. It's beef. They put beef they in it. They just say it's little babies. Beef and, and my chicken. Cats are little babies. <laughs> Every cat is a little baby. <laughs> it's not your cats. I don't know why you're it's being me so trying to do a fucked up me. cat noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm being short because you have my thousand dollars and then gave it to Maddie, who's trying to give it to who's trying to cash it in. I gave it to Maddie because I didn't want to have to go all the way back to the store to cash it in. The TV stand price was about the same, and it just made sense. You really got $1,000 for that? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm just saying, what are you doing here? thousand dollars isn't my rent idiot make two tables oh my fucking god <sighs> keith where, where are you rolling against here when, where did you <laughs> where were you when you found or where did you come from where should i go <laughs> Why was oh, I, don't, I don't know honey where you should go that's the thing that you need to figure out for yourself that's what i'm in the middle of doing <laughs> Have you tried calling your mom? I know your mom, she's so sad that you don't call her more. She's always telling me. I don't know you, lady. What are you talking about me? Your mom. Mm -hmm. Muriel. Muriel Month? Yeah. (laughs) People call her Month. (laughs) We play bingo together down at the... Farmer's market slash bingo hall. Say dumb. Oh. <laughs> They're in the bingo market. Whoa. Okay. Please tell me where you were when you, before 
you found the thing, the lottery ticket on your purse. Could you do well, that? I went to the Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went. I, I got all my stuff together. I went out. I had to take. I had to take. Um, Sorry, the Y is the YMCA or Y is in the quiz place. The YMCA. Okay. I had to. I had to take um, Grover to the vet because he's got like a weird toe these days. I don't know what's going on there. It's cats, you know. Um, just, I think he jammed his toe and he's jumping off something. So I went, I took, I took Grover to the vet and I had to leave him there for a bit. Cause they were going to do some like tooth stuff and they got to put him under for that. Um, and then gosh, where did I, then I went to the Y and then the Y I the is y in the YMCA, a the YMCA. The... Uh huh. Okay. I was at the YMCA. They let women in there now, which is nice. Um, and then welcome they, to uh... 1975. <laughs> And then, uh, let's see, after the Y, gosh. Oh, I went to uh, to lunch with some of my girlfriends. Um, and, you know, we just, like, chatted around for a bit, had some, had a little post-workout mimosa, you know? Um, and then, gosh, I guess, like, post office, groceries, that kind of thing. Just, like, the usual weekly kind of little outing for a little old... Uh, Say groceries at the you know? end? I don't know, sure. Probably. I always do when I'm Probably. Out. That's the... Yeah. Well, you know, I just go mostly to have a nice little walk around the store, say hi to the checkout girls. You go to the grocery store to say hi to the checkout girls? You get some milk and eggs, you know, cat food. And, you, and you're and you saying that... Vaseline? You yeah. did? You did or you probably did go to the grocery store? Probably. Like I said, I go there, I'm there all the time. I don't know why you think you don't know I would, me. I see I would all the love time. To, I would love to make this roll. <laughs> <laughs> what are you to rolling against? Make this roll whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. What's the what's Very the purpose of the role? Very normal guitar teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she's a vampire, bro. Maybe she's a vampire. Yeah, she's not. She's she is in she's in the seventies with her YMCA knowledge. It's I classical am. guitar, so like you know. Oh, okay, Eddie's taking classical guitar. Yeah. Oh, it is secret. What do you want to roll? With? Uh, so this is the this is the uh. I just wanted to see what the things are for this. Uh, players can suggest a complication on a seven to nine, and I choose one or more of the suggestions. Or on a six or lower, the player who's least involved in the scene decides. How your action, how your actions made the situation worse. Okay. And obviously a success is still a success. So it's roll 2d6. And this is, what do we think this is? Oh my God. Uh, right? It doesn't feel, it has this, I have the same huh. energy as I did when we rolled a jock a second ago. There's, but it sure doesn't, it doesn't not seem I, like prep. I was okay, going to say so prep. Social. Okay. Controversial take. Mm, yeah. I think convincing Denise as a person involves a lot of goth for creative, okay. creative, <laughs> creative solutions. Okay. I don't think Denise is goth. I think she's hippie. But in this situation, mm. goth and hippie are right there. Mm. Sure. I mean, it that's is, the same it, as prep, so I don't, yeah. I don't mind because I'm a zero in both. Yeah, I guess it is. All right. I'm going to roll that. I'm going to roll 2d6. That's a nine. That's a nine. So other players can suggest each suggest a complication, oh. but I, I succeed, uh, and then I choose one or more of their suggestions and use it in the outcome. What's? Oh, sorry. I should I should clarify that what I'm looking for from the role mm -hmm. is to is to know the exact thing that. Uh, uh, that resulted in Denise her having it resulted the in ticket. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, hmm. Do we want to make this be like an even longer game of telephone where someone gave it to her? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, someone paid for classes with it? Like, is this a thing that we want to do? Like, that's just one option. I think we're married to, the, to it not being a lie okay. that um that uh 
she just found it on the purse. Okay. Although, although I'm, I, maybe I'm just inter. I'm just. Oh, that's fine. Maybe I've just believed a lie, because it is a thousand dollars. It is something someone would lie about. I feel like if you're going to lie about a thousand dollars, you wouldn't give that one thousand dollar ticket to someone for a TV stand. <laughs> sure. Uh, any other uh, potential complications? complications. Oh, uh, what um what if it's like a I got mimosas with Mrs. Cunningham. Just ask her. <laughs> oh or in, in that's great. Introducing Brendan or somebody yeah. too. I love I was, <laughs> I, I was really struggling with something to suggest, but I love the idea that like Maybe Mrs. Cunningham like went on her errands with her and has a better memory or something. Okay. Oh, I so bet she has like, a great memory with being a she's vampire. She's like, yeah. well, she's honey, I don't know. She's a <laughs> mind in a jaw, like a steel trap. <laughs> I don't remember every little thing, but, you know, after mimosas, me and Mrs. Cunningham, we decided to, to run some errands together. I bet she would know every single... She has one of those... She has that thing that, that uh, tracks where you are and stuff, so... Uh, uh, She's playing Ingress. I don't know. Wait, did um, you say that that Mrs. Cunningham was drinking a mimosa? Yeah. Okay. We were all drinking mimosas. That's why you go out for mimosas. You're so young, you don't know. Um, you, I know about you, mimosas. You'll understand when you're older. Uh, ask your mom. Um, <laughs> Yeah, only, yeah well, it takes a 45-year-old a woman to know about orange juice and champagne. <laughs> you don't have to be sure with me. Just just call up Mrs. Cunningham. Uh you can ask her, tell her, tell her I I sent you to her. Uh and then after that, why don't you call your mother? Huh? Nathaniel's turning white, ghostly white. Give her something to talk about at bingo other than the porch. Yeah. <laughs> that porch up, needs porch. work. She keeps telling us. The it does need work. work. It needs work. Why don't you go to your mom's house and help with the porch? I can't. I don't not qualify to help with the. Okay. <laughs> I have to go. Thank you very much for your help, All Denise right. Villarreal. All right. You you take care. Right. Bye. Bye. I forgot Natty was there for a minute. <laughs> you could have stepped in. How? I don't know. She was clearly not responding to me. Oh, she was responding. That was a whole conversation, <laughs> buddy. I mean, that's the problem. I mean, yes. I thought, I think maybe we just didn't, we weren't connecting. It's not her fault. You fucking lost your shit, man. I didn't lose my shit. I had it. Uh huh. And then what do you do before you lose something? I had it. I didn't lose it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bye. Your watch looks great on Eddie. <sighs> Ma'am, I would love to return those grapes for you now. About time. <laughs> He's a rude one, huh? <sighs> the old lady. I know, I know. I'm very sorry. <clears throat> and that's a round of scenes. Yeah. <laughs> Hooray. Hooray. We did it. That took about an hour. This game just rules. <laughs> this is yeah. great. Yeah. This is so much fun. <laughs> We're having a great time. We're all good at this. I think it does a much better a uh, job than fiasco at like making sure you have the soap opera connections you want to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um it feels like you're a little more actively interwoven right out of the gate. Yeah. Uh, um and incentivizing doing other people's business <laughs> your stuff is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I I don't I obviously don't know Ethan's actual aspirations here and I don't want to keep making an unfair comparison, but as somebody who was thinking that they were going to play Fiasco and then chose this game and said, there's a lot of things that I prefer about it in some of these, those specific ways. Um, 
but this was really fun. I think that we've decided that we're going to pause here and then come back on Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Not tomorrow. Not to, well, today's no, Tuesday. No, not sorry. Next Tuesday. Tuesday yeah, yeah, yeah. the fifth, yeah, yeah. March fifth. It'll be March next Tuesday, and we'll be back on Tuesday, March fifth. It'll be um, March next Tuesday, and we'll be back on <laughs> Tuesday, March fifth. Um. So thank you everybody for joining us. Um. Congratulations to whoever won the fourth wall giveaway thingy. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Um and uh I was the, gonna scroll up and see, but I don't think I can see. It that. gets cut off, yeah. Um yeah. yeah. But that was a great time. Shout outs. Um but yeah, thank you for joining us. Um new Clapcast went on the feed this morning apparently the best yet my media Com plus episode was released uh last wednesday night go listen to that I'm if you haven't club plus. <laughs> yeah. i'm very sweepy i'm very sweepy the best meetings we've had <laughs> um Palisade is going to return this week, finally. Um, Slow Knife tomorrow. I said that it would be today, and I lied about that, and it's going to be tomorrow. I actually said it would be Sunday, and I still lied about that. Anyway. That's fine. Um, it's but coming. It's coming. Oh, release, right. I'm yes. like, recording? Well, no, we're doing. We're recording it next week. Yeah. Release, yeah. that's what the people <laughs> listening to this care about. Uh-huh. Um, and yeah, that's your Friends of the Table news update for tonight. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Th thank you so much for joining us, everybody. Any other? You're plugs? welcome. Any? <laughs> oh, um, if folks missed uh, Jack's stream earlier of Final Fantasy VII, that happened, right? Oh, yeah. yes, it that did. It yeah, real? I was there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you can check that out in the in the Twitch archives. You can pop there after this, even. Um, I think there's also an intention to for Jack to stream some other stuff. I was gonna say scream, scream some other stuff this week. <laughs> uh. But I'm not going to make any promises on their behalf. Um, I also might stream something this week, but I'm not going to make any promises on my behalf. Okay. Perhaps a question mark Friday. Question mark Friday. A That's question everyone's mark. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to, I don't want to say what it is in case it's not what it is, but. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've missed anything over the last uh, month of Twitch stuff, uh, pretty much everything up until the second Blatro stream is up on the YouTube. The first Blatro stream, uh, the Cinetu Dirtle stream, the Hyron Music Demos, etc. stream, Crusader Kings 3, and then uh, the Faith Farm stream are all up on the YouTube. Shout Hi, outs. Um, I imagine this will be up at some point. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I forget what we said what we would do about this. I know MP3s are going to go somewhere eventually. Um, for what for this oh for this yeah um but this you know it won't be gone to the ether i promise and um yeah have a good night everybody bye bye, bye. bye. watch out for vampires <laughs>